I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. Give me the meat and give it to me raw. Five minutes later. Mmm. <sighs> God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Huzzah! What the, fuck? the funny thing about the Nega bands on the TV show is that they're actually meant to be a big callback to the OG version of Captain Marvel, exactly. the very first version, who was a man called Marvel, who did appear during the Captain Marvel movie in the MCU, but he was played by Annette Benning, so they changed the character just a little bit. What? What the fuck? But he was played by Annette Benning, so they changed the character just a little bit. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Rings of Power Kiyoka is over. Woo! <laughs> yes. Woo! We survived. Mm -hmm. Did we, though? Did we? Or went out for peace on that. What did we lose? <laughs> we lost so much. What did it cost us? That's what, um, what Gandalf says in the Hobbit, right? If you do, if you do survive, you will not be the same. You'll, not, you'll never be the same again. Not be the same. The Harfoot survived, though. Which is disappointing. No, one, one of them, them didn't. One of them just decided <laughs> to die for no reason. <laughs> he, one of them he just saw bled the out. For season two, and he's like, "I can't. I just can't." All right. They just left him there to bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the half foot way. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Never oh. help anyone. Steal Hi, the wheels. Hi. How's it going? Steal their wheels. Fuck them. Run them over with their wheels. That's what I say. Not, oh. yeah. In Minecraft. In five. In Minecraft, yeah. In Minecraft. They're Harfoots. They're not even real. They're not. They're hobbits. They just can't <laughs> call them hobbits because uh, 
Warner Brothers wouldn't let them call them hobbits. That's Good. why called Harfoots. Just like you said, Harfoots aren't real. Hobbits are, but <laughs> <laughs> of course they are. I like that there's a distinction, though, because I feel like hobbits aren't savages that kill each other like that. Oh. Leave each other behind. I don't know. I forgot to talk to you guys. Hey, Go this. Gollum killed his little friend, though, didn't he? That's true. Uh, but but that's that the, ring. Really the, ring was, the ring was already in Oh, sure. Blame the ring. He was the <laughs> river folk. Next people. you'll say Boromir wasn't fully responsible for all of his actions. Boromir, Boromir <laughs> was influenced by the ring. Right. But yeah. Boromir was so fucking epic, even he Based. broke it for a he moment. Was epic. Yeah. Yeah. He was able to, to, to give... Well, it was able to to get to Boromir through his grief. Through his grief. Like, his, like knowing his kingdom is falling, his father is mm. failing, and he feels like it's all his fault. And yeah. Like that's how dark. Yeah, Boromir is a man of the people, isn't he? He wants to protect mm -hmm. Gondor. Yep. Yeah. Unlike uh, Rainey's Targaryen, who fuck the people. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill them all. Uh, I really <laughs> want to read that article. It's uh, oh my god. It's so bad. Oh, uh, but uh, yeah. Boromir was also hot. I'm a little. I'm a little okay. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> No, no, chat. I don't know why Nina is dressed like it's Mardi Gras or New Year's. <laughs> um, but we'll find it's I'm Halloween. Oh, it's and Halloween. I'm, I'm okay. doing Halloween y things. I see. Like wearing Halloween weird things on my head. Things. Halloween y? <laughs> the, Halloween -y the background, things. I understand. The top hat is uh, all right. It's I'm I'm feeling very British today. So is that Halloween? -y? Oh my god. <laughs> Very scary British scary people. <laughs> You're very feeling very British 227 years ago. Yes, I'm feeling like a British wench that married us in the game. And what? handed me and then decided on, to this leave is, this me. Is so good. then this I good, decided to have sex with Scott instead. So, uh, uh... <laughs> Sounds like Nina's been watching too much She Hulk. <laughs> I think it's addled or brains. I think everybody. <laughs> it's happened. She just, just wants to fuck everyone. It's it's Ooh. definitely She Hulk. <laughs> I've been British. working on my British accent too. Um. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's not you know easy. Uh, let's not go too hey, it's far. It's better with that. than it was. F from wow. which time? I I heard that once before. Two in my months life. ago. Uh, didn't oh. want to hear that again. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, Better than the last time, anyway. Oh, but not by much. Right, oh, oh, how? It was hey. over quicker. 38 seconds. Rings of Power did suck so much. <laughs> the worst adaptation ever. It might be the worst television show ever. It's the one that's the most expensive. Like, if <laughs> something's bad because it was cheap, that's understandable. This was horrible and expensive. And, and... I'm sorry, I didn't get to talk to you guys. I was too busy bitching about my bad day <laughs> prior to the show that um, I got some like incredible good news that I'm working on a video. I'm going to work on it today. It's going to be like out this weekend, maybe, maybe Sunday. Got to do some verifying and stuff, but like something landed in my lap that was pretty cool. Um, so it's about the rings of power. A lot of the information is out there, but we've got kind of a post-mortem of how we got here. Ooh. How we got here. And, oh, but, like, we didn't know the half of it. Like, how effed up this production was. Like, completely fucked up. Um, and, it, and the production was a lot like Game of Thrones. A lot of usurping, backstabbing, you know, the kind of shit you would expect in Hollywood. Uh, but it's just nice to get some confirmation uh, a little bit. So, uh, and and like a lot of the stuff we suspected has been absolutely correct. And then there's stuff that's even worse. Possibly a smoking gun that we'll talk about uh, later this week that would just uh, explain why they're coming out and saying, oh, we're going to be more canonical now. We're going to be more canonical now. So I'm guessing uh, some people got a talking to by Daddy Bezos because this show is going to fall off uh, into the memory hole in a couple weeks. 
Oh, and, yeah. it to, and it was supposed to chart for a year. It's supposed to be like Stranger Things, something that charts all the time. Even if it's a, do you know Stranger Things was charting during the entire break between those that the, the COVID break, which was almost two years, right, uh, Mahler? I think it was almost a year and a half, two years. Yes. Between I didn't know that. What I will say is that like buzz for the show uh, went down. I remember season one's buzz was huge. Two's was like pretty strong. Three, it was like fading a bit. Four, it went back up again. Like it just seemed that way. Yeah, even in the fading, it was charting. It was on the Nielsen's. It was it was just constantly on the Nielsen's, uh, just a third party. So it's only one aspect. We don't know the whole story. We don't know how many people watch this stuff. And it's like I always say, it's because the number's pretty freaking low, except for shows like Stranger Things. I, I that's a legit hit. I mean, you can't deny that. And Cobra Kai, but even Cobra Kai could be doing better if it released weekly. But that's me. Yeah. They haven't been renewed for a season six yet. I'm no, they haven't about this. And it's because they dumped everything at once and it fell down the memory hole in two weeks. It's fucking stupid. Like even Very shield stupid. garbage as that was, it's been in the zeitgeist for two months, two and a half months, the cultural zeitgeist. Uh, so, I mean, not in the best way. That's actually the worst way. See, like releasing a show weekly, if it sucks is very bad. <laughs> so we'll mm. get to that as well. Oh, and she Hulk wants to uh, make sexualized content for children. You can't yeah. bear the lead either um it's the horniest show on disney plus it's yeah. a really weird like why would they, they, they said they wanted to make it. a a uh tv show that was sex positive for children what? your lead character was an insecure broken whore so what does that say about hollywood I that's, mean... probably, that's probably the more conservative side, <laughs> to be honest with you, because they're, they're freaks. Uh, I got to acknowledge, our, our, before we get into intros, Big Raj from Canada, uh, $1.99 Canadian su super sticker, sent me a bunch, a bunch of Lord of the Rings vinyl. I'll show it off in a little bit. It's Ooh. fucking awesome. It is Ooh. fucking awesome. Thanks, buddy. Uh, hi, Az. How are you? Today. I am good, Gary. How are you? A bit tired, very tired, I'm seemingly mm -hmm. tired, mm -hmm. actually. Because he was spending time with his wife all night. What even is that, Nina? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Nina, spare us, please. <laughs> Which part of the country is that meant to be from? Because I've never been there in my life. <laughs> I don't know. Some <laughs> island somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some out of fire. man or out of white or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I did a ten and a half hour gaming stream last night. Bloody Eleanor. So uh, that was fun. Went to bed, fell asleep immediately. <laughs> Woke up, went downstairs, unlocked my front door, went back to bed, and then every time a delivery man came, I just shouted at my bedroom window, "Just have a job with that." <laughs> so woke up. Did he understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, they, they just, oh, yeah, they know. So they just they got went downstairs just, <laughs> when I eventually woke up. All these boxes are just there, you know. Yeah, well, that, that's that's the UK. Remember in San Francisco when I ha I used to have to like get up in the middle of streams to make sure, like, if I, oh, a delivery man's here because of my box that was out on my porch for more than five minutes, it was stolen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, psh, keep your doors unlocked here. Great. Uh, I'm I'm glad you're here, you're here and awake and as tired as I am. Oh, I'm absolutely shattered. I really should have should go. I, I should probably just sneak away and make a coffee because I am. You should. I am not in any capacity. Just go get it. Uh, energized, caffeinated, this is anything. My third one, dude. This is my third one. I got, I'm on four hours sleep. I was up late waiting, and uh, yeah, and then my wife decided to rearrange her office at eight thirty this morning. Really freaking noisy about it. So I just got. Did you move your coffee maker from your desk? No. Um, no. Moved oh, it's, 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 down there. it's down there. It's down in the kitchen now. But no, even she, though she moved it that. else, and it sounded like uh like a cartoon. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, damn it, woman, you're lucky. I love you. Why do that? <laughs> I mean, Why is but that I that still, as soon as I woke up. Got a shower, got dressed, sat down here, and immediately recorded my membership video for today. 
Which was? Uh, uh, that's Resident Evil 2 Remake Part 6 Claire's Playthrough. Part 5 of Claire's Playthrough. Nice. Look at you. Look I at know. you, little gamer. Little and then gamer. I finished, and then it was just time for Friday Night Tights. So when you start talking about House of the Dragon, which is probably inevitable, yeah. uh, I, I'm going to go make a coffee. There you go. I'll give. I'll even give you a heads up. Yeah. <laughs> because Mahler wants to make us feel worse about this episode. Well, it's not your fault, actually. The, the, the director, <laughs> I didn't say writer, this stuff. The director and writer decided to go out and make things absolutely worse. Like, uh, they're fucking morons in Hollywood. They are. Like, when they got something good going, they just can't shut their fucking mouths. Um, we, we had one major fear with our review of, of the previous episode, as well, the latest episode, and it's been realized. Like It's been absolutely confirmed. So, yeah, and and mm, yeah, it didn't help them. And and obviously, she this per, she knows she's getting criticism because it's it's a little bit of cope. It's a lot of cope, actually. But that's that's going around. It's still better than the Rings of Power, which was total shit from beginning to end. There wasn't a single moment I enjoyed. A single laugh. It was excruciating to fucking review. Um, and as great as it was for the channel, I was so done by episode six. I was like, I can't. God can barely do this anymore um oh. the pyroclastic flow yeah that was yeah that, that yeah. was so ridiculous it was just just why why look if you can't take your show seriously why how on earth are we gonna do that yep oh because um they threw a bunch of money at it and they don't know how to make television you have uh, I, I mean somebody somebody pointed this out I forgot who it was but I mean essentially Amazon is a mail order company that's what they are yes who's like literally who's <laughs> yes dabbling in television because they're so immensely fucking rich and they just thought they could throw money at things and um they hired the wrong people well no they had the right people got rid of them and mm. replaced them with the wrong people like the wrongest of wrong people and the that's why we have the wrong. the wrongest of the wrong. That's that's horrible English, but I'm from America, so I can do that. Oh, I was I was going into garbage. Oh, the song. Oh, yeah, I like garbage. I like yeah, garbage. So I, was, I was incorporating your wrongest Surely of the wrong. What man? Oh my god. Uh, garbage is amazing. Shirley Manson is fucking epic. Yeah, she's. she's I I really yeah. like that band. And it's a it's a bunch of producers, right? One of them was a producer, the guy who produced um uh, everything's uh, a fucking producer, mate. No, but this no, this guy was a producer of like legit shit. He I forgot his name now. He uh, Nirvana and other stuff. Well, I mean, some people like legit. I think Nirvana's a little overrated, but that's me. Um how dare you, Gary? My oh, god. Uh, no, I mean it's good, it's fine, but uh I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know fucking Iron Maiden. You know, come on. Come uh, on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, hi, Mom. Hello. Yeah, the uh, main thing that's on my mind right now is that that has to drive. We're so close to the end. Come, they've just sealed off season one. We could have been fine. Why do you have to do this? <sighs> yeah. Because now everything's complicated. And I just, you know what? It could be that episode 10 is totally fine. And it's just like there was just the hiccup. But I'm telling you, that episode was filled with things to think about. And uh, the, when, when, if they'd said nothing, Gary, if they'd said nothing, I'd have been like, let's just go with best possible interpretations. That's what we can do about how everything works. But no, it gets much worse than that. I want to be told that no one cares about the people at King's Landing again. <laughs> like, <laughs> <please>. <laughs> Enough of that. It reminds me of a certain event, you know, but uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, that's, it's bringing back on. traumatized memories. That's what's An going event on. which made me just, just laugh. Just laugh uproariously at what I was watching. It is nice to be oh. at the aftermath point of Rings of Power because uh, EFAP finished their coverage a day after Friday Night Tice did, I believe. So we're, we're all now just in the uh, the we look at the the corpses on the floor and we're just like, yep, yeah, they're not moving. <laughs> that's that's that. They're dead. Uh, and then yeah, She Hulk. We're finishing up on Saturday, so I got to prepare for that soon. But uh, what a what a strange era we've been in. And then maybe I'll go, hey, what was Andor doing again? I'll, I'll go have a look over at him oh, since yeah. he's still around. You is can that have so annoying? That. It is. <laughs> and everybody said, hey, it really picks up around the sixth or seventh episode. I'm like, 
who's making it to Sixers? <laughs> and it's not tracking at all. The thing is like uh it's it's oh it's yeah, the interest in it is well, you can tell that nobody's talked about it. I haven't talked about it and I intended to talk about it, but I I can't sort of imagine uh, passion, you know. I, I'm just like, well, I'll try and get to it at some point. But and is this not the first offshoot of of a Disney Star Wars exclusive product? Yes, could be yes, wrong. Yeah, this is a, yeah. an offshoot of Rogue One, which Rogue is One. exclusively non George Lucas. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a prequel to a prequel. It's yeah. a prequel to a fucking prequel. That's a sequel to some prequels. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's it random because yeah. it's, it's, it's to get a it right, prequel yeah. to a prequel which told you the story of how the people died from the original. Yes. <laughs> a prequel? Oh a throwaway a line. A prequel Many of a prequel. died. Prequel it's not even the Bothans you... story. It's just the, the one where they... Well, you know, when, when Vader's like, several transmissions were beamed to this ship by rebel spies. Like, that's what Rogue One is. Let's <laughs> let's make a movie <laughs> and five seasons of that line. Yep. <laughs> it's not a surprise. Yeah, they do this, like, this is how they did it and died. Now here's the guy that did it and died. Here's him walking around doing some stuff before he did it and died. Right? Mm -hmm. Why he do I care? He mumbles through a damn TV show. Oh my god, I don't want to do it. You don't trust me. My name is Juan Solo. <laughs> how many episodes did you see, Gary? Uh, three, which was That's two minutes. Okay. Yeah, I saw one. I was done. I was. It wasn't offensive. I was just so bored off my tree. Mm. Uh, and oh, the, the only tree. thing that I liked, which I didn't really kind of um, think was a good thing, particularly, was the imper. Well, not the imperial, but the guy who takes his job seriously. <laughs> but yeah. he's you know but but it's like and that's one of the reasons why i liked him is because oh this guy's taking his job seriously in the show while everyone else is just turning around going well i tick well, a box sir so i uh, i don't know <laughs> isn't that I'm just here well that's corporate life honestly but yeah I, like, I felt like that guy at a lot of corporate jobs <laughs> yeah <laughs> i really did I, I, I had a unique sort of thing about it because I in the toy store before I had left, it was like a month before I had left, this guy came in who was like obsessed with the rules to the point where he was like, if you don't follow them, I'm going to report you. And I was like, oh my god, really? Like, And it just pissed off everybody who works there, who knows all the shortcuts, knows when you don't have to pay attention to the rules. Knows. For example, have I ever told you guys what I worked at? They, they had, management had this thing where they were like, you have to do you have to gain at least five points when talking to a customer and you get one point per engaging thing you say to them and you have to do that per conversation otherwise you like you failed as a worker uh, and that's... so what i'm talking about oh, I would... is like if you don't say good morning you know you you, you best fill that other five points with someone else because that that's one asking them how their day is asking them why they've bought the item that they have an extra point if you can be specific about the item like ooh, you picked up the batman this is a film why did you buy this? Do you enjoy oh. it? I was when they first told me this. I was like, as a customer, I find this frustrated as hell. Leave me alone. I don't want to tell you why I'm doing all the things I do in my day to day. That is terrible. That is. Why awesome. would I like? Is think, this oh gosh, business? can't wait to go back there so the fucking workers could ask me about what I'm buying. Oh fuck that! That's horrible. Yeah, no. this guy was like, I remember, I do, I didn't do that. I was just, it would always be based on the customer, which I imagine you guys would be similar, right? It's like, you, if they're talkative, you'll talk back. If they're not, and it's like, yeah, if you to do a yeah. job, I'll get you rung up. But this fucking guy was like, why didn't you say good morning to them? And I was like, I don't know. They seem miserable, and it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would I do that? I made my employees say, uh, oh, hello, sex bots. Did we put the slow mode on yet? Exit. Uh, I will do that. Could you at least contribute to the conversation? Well, some hearts is nice. That's good. Hello, sex <laughs> Hello. Hello. Also, and someone I'm, pointed I'm out, yes, well, it's, it's thing because we're British and we absolutely hate the attention. Like, yeah, we don't yeah. want people going oh, yeah, to yeah, yeah. we're buying shit. So, so uh, yeah, when, when people walked into my store, they had to say, how's it going? They had to acknowledge them. And I learned that from a manager at the warehouse a long time ago because it's nice. It's also security. It's like, I acknowledge that you walked into my store. That's it. That, that, yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Like, if you yeah. said, you know, hey, I'm here if you need any help as well. It's like, oh, yeah, chill. Thank you. When you, like, mm. follow people around, you're like, good morning. No. What are you buying yeah. today? Why are oh, you buying it? <laughs> no, no, no. no. All those the worst. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, they do no, it curries no. all the time. 
they'll ask questions if they want to ask questions. Um, usually people want to be just left alone and look at shit. And you know, yeah. then you feel guilty when you know it's like they're being forced to by their managers to do this. They don't want to do it either. That's <laughs> like, true. Great. Now everyone's miserable for no like reason. To micromanage yeah. conversations is like the worst form of corporatism. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do you it, like conversations have to be intuitive? They absolutely have to go by your gut on that. Yeah, all the that's time. Why organic. That's why I kind of related to all of that. That there's all these guys working in this place who know it better than the people who are higher up and the rookies that come in. It's like, believe me, I know how to run this place. Okay, I've been doing it for ages. But they're like, no, no, you need to say good morning. You need to click this button here whenever someone walks. In. It's like, oh my god, make your shop run. Don't just, just let me do my thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, hi, Mahler. Hello. <laughs> that, was, that was what's on my mind, apparently. There you go. Among other things, I, I've been enjoying streaming video games, and I even I even uh, uh, jump in on Az's little games every once in a while to uh, to disrupt his streams while he's in the nice. medieval ages nice. doing this down the other. And it's just nice, you know. It's nice to have fellow gamer friends who say gamer mm. words all the time, <laughs> like no. like level up, level up. Yes. Noob, GG. Uh, Simon, uh, hey, we got uh, Simon Pegg is going is going full fucking. Simon got pegged. Oh yeah, uh, <gasps> She Hulk is the best thing Marvel has done since Endgame. Tatiana Maslany is the bomb. I'd like to marry her in an alternate dimension. Hang on. He did a car video. So, I've yeah, got, so, yeah, I have the video of that. Hang on. What do you think about that? Before you play the video, was the uh, I saw the quote in text. Creepy? So the quote in text, and I was like, oh, great. Like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. You know, everyone's entitled to their own perspective, blah, blah, blah. But then, because I just, I don't think it's going to be good overall for She Hulk to be celebrated this, that. Course, There's like, go on. What? Go on. Uh, just that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's always fine. It's just like you wonder sometimes if they're being paid to do it or this, that. But I blew up the video, and I was like, holy shit, the, the tone, it does actually feel like there's a gun just off screen. Mahler, it felt like an audition tape for the next Marvel movie. Yeah. Um, that's like, I, I would not be surprised if they announced that he's going to be in some sort of Marvel movie in the next few months. Oh, you know, what's Where's his next like pack of fucking Jesus Christ, the guy's on drugs. What, he looks yeah, like he's on he the same diet as Kevin Smith. He looks, uh, he looks vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds vaccinated. This guy sounds vaccinated. Triple vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I just watched the finale of uh, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, and I've got to say, I think that show is the best thing Marvel have done since Endgame. I think it's fucking brilliant. It's really funny. I love its self-reflexivity. The last episode was like blazing fucking saddles. It was great. What? Tatiana Maslany. What? The bomb. Yeah. I would like to marry her in an alternate dimension because they break the fourth wall an alternate dimension oh uh, yeah he's high as fuck and this is the yeah. guy who, who wrote co-wrote star trek beyond with jd Payne and patrick mckay yeah that's also the significant trek hand in hot fuzz which is one of the best comedies ever I know. Like, cool. I know. Uh, there's a there's a certain edgar wright there uh there that, is that's true yeah yeah and i think edgar wright is the writer okay and, he, and he's probably, well, for one, this is a very passive aggressive fuck the trolls. That's what mm. it is. Okay. Mm. Um, and he's got plenty to say about it because, like, this guy who made uh, from Spaced, right? Who uh, yeah. who called out, you know, what, what was Spaced famous for? Like, calling out the prequels. Calling out Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, now, he now regret that, apparently. Yep, he's like kind of a Kevin Smith now. Kevin Smith? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and he looks like so. Kevin Smith. Yeah. He looks like he's on the same diet. Well, yeah, vegan uh pot diet, whatever it is. And mm -hmm. like you yeah. partake in the 420. I, I'm not judging it. I don't care. It's fine. Uh, but uh vegan, I'm gonna judge you a little bit. I'm gonna vegan. Judge. Yeah, I'm gonna no judge brain cells. That one. Um yeah, you have no testosterone. Um what is it? I, so I'm, vegan. Vegan. Go around and say, I'm vegan. I'm in pegged. I, I'm, I'm he asked. says he I'm wants to vegan. peg She Hulk. Well, he wants to get pegged by She Hulk. So, well, but which version? The guy who played it in that final episode? <laughs> he was better. 
Who again? This this feels like the the video yes, from yes, that uh, was Hugh McGregor. Man. That was a yes, man. Yes, it was a man. Hulk at the end. <laughs> that was a man playing She Hulk. Yeah, good thing in. Uh, but this is this feels like the the Hugh McGregor hostage video. You <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I'm I'm just driving around early at the moment. What's going on, uh, Ella? Uh, you, you, we need you to just pull over, please, and and make a video, say that you denounce the racisms uh, for Kenobi, and you're very grateful that it's the number one show. But the emphasis is on the racisms, okay? I'm on the fucking freeway. Just pull over, you. Just pull over. It's got bigger tits than fucking Tatiana Maslany. Yes. <laughs> you and it makes you seem relatable. <laughs> oh man. You you like those as <laughs> <laughs> the crying game. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna live it down. Seen better. <laughs> On the other girl from She Hulk or dude? Yes. <laughs> or the bride. Seen better on the bride. Fantastic. Cool. You know how those uh <laughs> I know those guys. So you know how those fan hating campaigns, you know, the the fan baiting, fan hating that uh, you know, she uh that Ghostbusters 2016 did so well. Uh, <laughs> that Disney has been doing time after time after time. You know, we, we don't have any quantifiable evidence that this comes from the top right? That these little things are leaked to the access media. A lot of us probably think it's just the access media gaslighting fans for clicks, which it could be, I would say half the time, the other half the time it is Disney. It is Sony. It is Warner brothers. It is Amazon instigating it. Absolutely. Absolutely. From their marketing departments. So all this divisiveness that's been going on and just gotten out of fucking control. You can thank giant corporations trying to protect their stupid fucking properties and adding uh, to the culture war, like inflaming it. And then just consistently trying to blame us over and over and over again. Then you have these dumb fucking adult pretenders, empty headed freaking tards like Simon got pegged out there just fanning the flames and doesn't doesn't think about it because they don't know they're so vapid and narcissist they're back into their own world after they they do this so they're just as bad fuck them too they're not innocent anymore they're just an actor taking a job kiss my ass be aware of that what you're getting into jessica jessica gal like admitted like i'm i am fanning the flames of division that's what i set out to do with yes. this show by the way watch my video tomorrow it's about this um uh, fuck that bitch. But um, here we go. Rather not. No, I would not with uh, somebody else's penis. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. I'm uh, just, you know, Hulk. Badass. That is a She Hulk right there. I and might have to play say, for the uh, other team. What was that? Oh, I might have to play for the other team. Oh my God. Oh. Dad is going to get so excited now. Don't. Mark is like, that. excuse me? <laughs> Spooking scissoring. Uh, thick thighs, as save lives, save lives. Yeah, that wouldn't have sucked, but um, no. Instead, we got a dude playing her at the end. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was, I thought the dude played her in the opening credit scene. The opening when credit scene, yeah, yeah. 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 The no, actually, the girl, the double, like, would have been fine. The double, like, I don't know, like, she was fine. She was like a real girl and six foot seven. I mean, I don't know if she can act. It's not like Tatiana Maslany can act. I'm not going to say she, she but she she, she couldn't act in this show. She she sucked in this show. Everybody sucked. Yeah. Mark Ruffalo sucked in this show. Everybody sucks. Sorry, Marla, go on. No, 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 I was green. Everyone did suck in the show. And the, I agree that she's got the potential. A lot of the actors did, but... We were saying this about the performances in uh, episode eight of House of Dragon. They were so good from everybody that it almost makes you go, wait, whoever was directing this then must have had like quite a passion to push people because it's rare that you get everybody on point. And in the same direction, if only hot, like, well, if, if nobody's on point, then it could be the director as well. Just being like, whatever, guys, say the lines and we can get out of here. It's the showrunners. Um, 
Like, like it, we, we, you know, like with um, she blocks me on Twitter. By the way, Jennifer uh, Jennifer Hutchinson. Ooh. Oh. The, the writer of the power. I don't know why she blocks me. It's I'm so surprised. <laughs> um, but she's actually like written some really good episodes of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. But she wrote some shit episodes of the Rings of Power, and that's because she probably had uh, a thousand times more experience than her bosses. But her bosses were J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. Didn't know shit, so that affects her. And she'd have Vince Gilligan. Vince Gilligan. So um, Jessica Gal like worked on what Rick and Morty. Right, mm -hmm. that was, yeah, like, pickle, like, Rick. pickle Rick. That was it. Um, but that, that's that's Dan Harmon. That's psychotic, like, like truly psychotic. Dan Harmon. Just watch some of his past little uh, uh, spurgs about like Nazis around every corner and stuff. Uh, the guy's like not well, but talented guy. Did community, right? I didn't watch it, yeah. but yeah. And mm -hmm. then he did um, people like love Rick and Morty. I don't. I've chuckled at it at times, uh, but like, it's not like my thing. That's fine. But like he wrote that episode, <laughs> she could put her name on it. She filled in some dialogue, but like he, he like had the final pass over it and he's the one who makes it good. Well, Gary, as was said, Michael Waldron, he's uh, he wrote an episode of Rick and Morty too. I don't know why they, they're grabbing up Rick and Morty writers, but here we are, I guess. Uh, Lower Decks. Um, what's his face? Who does Star Trek Lower Decks is from Rick and Morty too. Yes. Because Rick and Morty is funny, apparently, according to them. Hey, some of it is. <laughs> the first two seasons were really good. I just... Uh, I'm blocked by Jennifer Hutchinson as well. Yes, you are. I'm sure there's a blockchain having to, <laughs> yeah. to do with Rings of Power. So, uh, Jennifer... Uh, this is why your show shit because when you actually get criticism from people, uh, fans of, of Tolkien's work, and you react so defensively like this, you don't care. You show that you don't care. So, you know, uh, grow a fucking backbone. You're in Hollywood or suck some more dick. <clears throat> they're so, this so, it's so, it's so pathetic. You know, it's so pathetic. But, you know, this is where we are. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm blocked. Where, uh, are you blocked yet by Star Trek on on Paramount Plus? No, I, I think I'm like, same with, uh, I'm, I'm blocked by MCU Direct. Okay. Uh, I'm blocked by she virtually every She-Hulk site there is. Yeah, I'm blocked by an entire franchise right now. Um, yeah. my franchise. I, uh, yeah, I so Robert as well. Robert yeah, and Robert, who did uh, Blu ray extras for the next generation who, for Enterprise, who worked on some of the best parts of this franchise. The, the like, yes. extras that were, um, dude, there's some of the best. By the way, he's also worked on the extras for The Lord of the Rings, some of the best fucking Blu ray extras ever made. Uh, and like a true fan of Star Trek, and he's freaking blocked by the franchise. Like, I understand why I am, I, like, I get it. I've, and they yeah. blocked him, and he didn't even say anything. He wasn't like Robert is very tactful and yeah, specific and considerate when he speaks, even if he's I'm leveling some criticism. I'm specific, I'm just not tactful. Okay, yeah, I'm not tactful. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he didn't say anything untoward because I saw the tweet that got him blocked. He didn't say anything untoward in the slightest. Dude, he's being followed by the showrunner of season three now. <laughs> They're still blocking him. What the fuck? Yes. The Picard, yeah. <laughs> hey, the showrunner followed me for two entire days. <laughs> I, I'm not blocked by her yet. I think she doesn't know that I hang out with you guys. <laughs> um, I saw the trailer of Picard season three, and it looks, just looks like more of the same now. Uh, it does. I, I, it, it does. And I know what Robert said, and I, I have nothing but love for Robert. I have unconditional love for Robert. I, I will believe it when I see it. Period. End of story. And I think a lot of people are just not going to bother seeing it at this point. I think it's too late. The apathy has kicked in, kind of like with Andor. If Andor had come out in 2017, it'd be fine. You know, if it was like, obviously, there wasn't a Disney Plus, but. Uh, they were working. Do you know how long they've been working on Disney Plus? Five since, minutes since 2012. Oh, yeah, because didn't they try to fast track it as soon as COVID happened? So, like, oh, shit, mm -hmm. now's our time. We can do this, guys. They poached a bunch of Netflix people, including my friend. Um, 
and he was working on it in 2013, 2014, and the 2015. Uh, and then a, there were a lot of, I think a lot of problems they were having was, um, he was telling me like Netflix owns a ton of patents. So like, that's why menus are so vastly different. Uh, and, and sometimes non-intuitive HBO max menu sucks, by the way, your menu blows. You have to like, look for this little thing that says more episodes that's on the bottom to get to the other, or you're stuck in a fucking episode. Uh, but yeah, there's patents. Netflix owns all the patents. So it makes it very hard for other streaming services. I don't give a fuck, but, uh, oh, did you hear Netflix almost bought Paramount and decided not to really, I didn't, I didn't hear about that. Yeah. Like before COVID they were thinking about buying Paramount for $12 billion, which is kind of a song when you consider what Fox sold for, Hmm. um, they probably should have done it. Imagine having access to something like top gun maverick or star trek uh there's tons of franchises that like paramount has the rights to a lot of stuff but they didn't do it that's they didn't do it they didn't do it well because they were too busy uh worrying about their trans and their five trans employees being upset about fucking dave Chappelle. um oh well get woke go broke bye bye fuckity bye like g4 (laughs) Um, we like said Neil Gaiman. Did we say hi to you yet, Nina? I'm a little tired, so sort of, yeah, because you complimented me on my hat, which I took as a compliment. Oh, I definitely yeah. like that. No, I definitely yeah. like you complimented my hat, which I took as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you know what I meant, Mahler. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, but yeah, good. Happy to be here, Gary. Oh, I got. Hey, I got a comic book. Mm-hmm. I, got, I got a comic book. Yeah. Yay. That's so pretty. Here, I got a comic. Yeah. It's pretty. I'm wearing an Isom shirt under this. Under my, oh, you know what it says right here? It's very politically incorrect, so I got to show it off. Hang on. Yeah, please do. I don't the oriental <gasps> oh he's uh, wearing me on the shirt i am and it says it like on the back too what's the oriental western fans tell me in the chat and you win the no prize in the what prize the what the the, the, you know, the no prize it's the marvel no prize if you answer a question right you oh, win nothing the I marvel think. no prize yeah, you get nothing all right old school nerd shit it means I actually knew what you meant. Does that mean I'm old? Oh, no. Oh, come on. The Oriental. It's Western. the train, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Tombstone. There you go. You got it, baby. You yeah, got it. Somebody got it. Tombstone. 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 Uh, somebody got it first, though. But yeah. yeah. Tombstone. No and prize got, for you. I got it in Tombstone, Arizona. Not Yellowstone. <laughs> 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 not Shang Chi, <laughs> not the murder on the Orient Express, the no prize. Yeah, the no prize. Um, I thought it was a train. When we went to, uh, when I went to uh, San Diego to just sit there and get COVID, uh, before I got COVID, I went to Tombstone with uh, Cordoba Garrett and the misses and had a great time. I love Tombstone. If you go down there, they do a little show. Um, and they got some great shops. It's fucking awesome. And a lot of the stuff. It's like refurbished, but it's like also there's some original buildings there, like like that are still standing from that time. And you find out that the actual gunfight at the OK Corral was basically an assassination. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. There were not they were not very far apart, but I fucking love that movie. So it's in my top 10 of all time. So that's why I try to I visited it four times now. I'll probably that's go back so cool. again. Yeah, I, awesome. I want to visit. The U.S. Um, again, maybe after November. <laughs> uh, oh, I think those COVID restrictions will come down like a week before Election Day. It's just a probably. <laughs> I can't believe they haven't. Like the airlines are begging for it's it. It's wild. It's, it's wild, Gary. Really? Well, you know, it's a little wild in America right now. It's a little 
It's a little nuts. It's a little bit. It's the the craziest part is I've I've been reading about how uh, like a few people are making a big deal, especially from Canada. They're saying that like they haven't been checking for like a year. Like some people just don't get checked and some people do get checked. And this one person was kind of making a big deal on Twitter and they were like, well, why isn't this if if you're not checking, then why is the CDC not updating the 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 terms and telling people that they can enter the country because they're losing tourist money, like millions in tourist money because yeah, people yeah. like me check the cdc to see if we can go yet and I, I, like some people say they're not checking anymore some people do so i guess it depends on the person and your luck i, I don't know your person and luck and where you fly i i'm yeah. checking in florida i seriously doubt if you go to florida they, they, but like we have it's to- the getting on the plane though so in mexico they're really strict about like the boarding part. So oh, yeah, the people check. who board will check you. And just get on a truck, drive to the <laughs> south. Texas, I'll come and pick you up. In the middle, come and pick you up. Yeah, let's do a road like Andor. And, I'll drive. And, and uh, yeah, uh, we, uh, things are for our international, I know, sorry, geopolitics. Um, things are weird in our country because we have an illegitimate nice. leadership. for the mm. well, Not for the first time in America. It's not for the first time. Uh, first time in a long time, though. It's first time in a illegitimate time. leadership. Yeah, I fucking said it. So fucking How watch. can Simon Pegg say She Hulk was hilarious? Um, he wants a job. He a vegan. He is a vaccinated vegan on opiates. <laughs> you have to see his, he got a new show out with uh, Nick Frost is in it too. Someone, like, some, somebody with Ghost Hunters or something. Uh, I watched it with with Jay season one and Rags actually I think it was awful. It was one of the least funniest things we'd ever seen. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe his comedy has been sapped completely at this point. Yeah, this is like a guy who was in like one like Space is awesome, dude. I fucking like. Well, yeah, and, and I remember being really disappointed. Of the dead, like, man. You know, we shouldn't have been dead. so we shouldn't have been so course. mean to the prequels or something. It's like, oh come on. Like everyone took <sighs> shots at all kinds of media since when yeah. was it like the prequels still suck yeah. they're, still <laughs> good, okay? they're still not good they just look better compared to the Disney trilogy and the third one's like okay I mean it's okay uh, the entire prequel should have been the third one I don't I didn't need to see a baby fucking Darth Vader and I still don't need to see a baby Darth Vader and uh, yeah if people like him that's great though that's fine it's undeniable that a lot of people liked him. It, it, it's, it did what George intended to do. It got a bunch of kids into Star Wars. The adults, not so much. But the kids, it got into Star Wars. So it did its job. Uh, but Simon Pegg, yeah, th- these fuckers who sell out, like, like, I think that's an old model, Mahler. I think that's just something that people, there's, they're always going to do it, but I think more will recognize that if you stick to your guns later in your career, maybe you won't be a gazillionaire, but you can still be a millionaire, you know, as a, if you're an actor or a talent out there. Clever. Yeah, because that's the, that's the concern, right? Every time you, you see any comments like this, it's like, oh, are they are they trying to get a spot in the MCU? Like every yes. person is. Because mm-hmm. the MCU is just this giant blob of continuous <laughs> content. So That's how you know it's dead. That's where you know the trend is in when like every movie star who couldn't give a fuck about Marvel six months ago and still doesn't, by the way, go look, look at Patty Constantine's comments about him. Marvel. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. What does he say? Oh, um, it was on uh, film gob, uh, did a video on everybody like just shitting on Marvel for like six or seven minutes and Patty's in there. He's like, I was asked to be in like some Thor movie. I don't know. <laughs> You know, like, like it's funny. So, Speaking of that, uh, Harrison Ford is joining the MCU. Yeah. yeah, exactly. This is how you know it's dead. It's it's like, it, it's uh, it's, it's, the pay, it's a payday. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's a payday. It's, it's the equivalent of showing up on uh, like a, a late nineteen seventies variety show when like you know when all the actors show up that like it was washed up actors all the time mm-hmm. would show up on these shows. That's what it's turned into. Yep. All right, that's a really old reference, but like, oh, yeah. I Eric totally got it. Like, um, <laughs> lots of different crazies, and like, I think uh, crypto kind of kind of applies to this, where someone does it and they make a load. Like, like, didn't Robert Downey Jr. make like one of the best deals ever, and he's like a bajillionaire? And like, I think all other actors were like, oh, maybe there is something to this. 
and then they're all like jumping in at different dates and you know like brie larson for example she probably was like this is gonna be a great choice but she doesn't even know what's going on i think most of them don't know what's going on they're just waiting for a phone call i'm pretty I sure think... harrison ford has no idea what's going on no and it'll, it'll just be like <laughs> yeah. when do i get the money and it's like oh, yeah, where's my money you know? on and one of the... oh go on i'm just gonna say and, and then you look at like what, what would happen when uh with that level of uncertainty, I think, and probably a lot of them end up being like, "Wait, this isn't this isn't so great." Like, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch. We were talking about this with Multiverse Madness and other stuff, but he's clearly just being pulled left, right, and center into all these different projects randomly. Same for uh, Benedict Wong. It's like, "You're here now. No, you're here now. You're here," and they, they have no clue what's going on. They don't even know what the characters are. Yeah, and Mahler didn't like Christian Bale. Kind of say said something similar recently because he was in Thor and he was like, I like basically hated the experience, like the green yeah. screen and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, he didn't do it because he wanted to do it. Yeah, he didn't do it because he wanted to do it. No. Um, Allison, Charles, going to get to you in just a sec. She just dropped some bombs, some $100 bombs, like a bunch in a row. Yeah. And shit. So I just need to finish my thought on Harrison Ford. Um, obviously needs money for his descendants or his pot. Not really sure. Um oh. Sam Elliott uh, is out there and would have been like he was a better General Ross, by the way, from the Ang Lee movie. Mm. He was a fucking mm. awesome General Ross. He's alive and out there, but he doesn't have the right politics. That's the problem. So uh, they, yeah. yeah, that's right. And they got Harrison Ford, who's too fucking, what is he going to run around as the Red Hulk? Well, he's he's going to crush a plane. He's going <laughs> to, <laughs> I love, listen, Harrison Ford's a moron. But I love him. Okay. Hmm. I love him. He's a I, dick. I, he's a curmudgeon and a dick and had sex with a very young Carrie Fisher during Star Wars. But um, like she was of age. Okay. He was 30. She was 19. It was the 70s. Whatever. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. He's Indiana Jones, man. Indiana Jones, fucking coolest character ever created. So, yes. Didn't he break an ankle on that set? I'm sure he uh, did. For um, Force Awakens, right? Force Awakens, yeah. He yeah. No, no, no. The Indiana Jones 5. Um, oh, he might have done that too. He's got a bad right. ankle, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, 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 uh, yeah. He broke a hip. Yeah. <laughs> he broke a hip. Yeah. Like, then, I, I then just then don't they've know. delayed filming. Then they've delayed it again. Then they've delayed it. Again. Yeah. And, and, and I don't know how that's going to go with being a Hulk. Like, I. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's modern Marvel, you know? He'll go. Rah, and then it'll cut, and he'll just be the giant CG thing. That's yeah. that's true. You're right. It'll look uh, like dog shit. He'll just Al be like in a wheelchair, and then they'll turn that. <laughs> Never mind. Allison Charles, excuse me, drink my coffee too fast. For this is three one hundred dollars super chats for three hundred dollars. I did that math on my own without. Well, no, the girl did the math for me. I'm lying. She did. Thank you for doing the math. Oh, you're you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> I've watched you guys for a couple of years now, and I thought I should finally pony up some cash. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks for all the laughs and for watching crap shows so I don't have to. I did watch the first two episodes of <laughs> Minges of Power as I love all things Tolkien uh, and thought I should give it a shot. However, as you all have said, it is not Tolkien. It is uh, in word or spirit. I know many franchises have been ruined for some fans because the recent offerings have uh, poisoned the well, but nothing can ever taint my love of Lord of the Rings. Same here, Allison. Same here. Like this, um, this one, yeah, I can't touch it. You can't touch this. Mm -hmm. And the words, she said, not even an embarrassingly written, badly acted, boring knockoff that can't even manage, even with hundreds of millions of dollars, to make an elf look uh, at least a bit ethereal. At least uh, Amazon might try, but it doesn't have the power to diminish Tolkien. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. No, the, yeah, the big difference on this one, Allison, and the the white pill moment, the takeaway, like, sure, we didn't get a good show, but the Tolkien fan just Tolkien fan just crushed Amazon, like destroyed them every turn. Amazon didn't get a single victory. Every one of their videos ratioed. The ratings suck. They got caught withholding and deleting reviews on Prime Video and the other site they owned, IMDb. They have fucked up at every single turn. Who do you blame? Jeff Bezos, Jennifer Salke, Lindsey Weber, J.D. Payne, Patrick McKay. 
can't fire Jeff. Everybody else should be fired. That's flat out. They don't deserve a second chance. You get this much money. You fuck up this hard. You're gone, but they're not. They're, they're inexplicably because of pride, hubris, and ego. They're still there, and this will suck. And it will be it, it, like it'll be a fart in the wind when it comes out in two and a half years. Nobody's going to remember it or care or give it a chance. It's done. It had one chance, and you fucked up. Also, isn't uh, Amazon doing some sketchy shit with the reloads for the last episode? Yeah. Absolutely. That happened to me uh, it, about 30 seconds into the uh, girl Sildur scene. I don't know how it happened for everybody else, but uh, with Farazan, when he's talking about uh, the king dying, it kicked into, um, I forgot the name of the show again. It's it's some virtual reality show with uh, the girl from, uh, with, uh, with uh, Hit Girl in it. And um, yeah, it takes you all the way in the trailer. And you have to back out of that trailer, which is two minutes, by the way, and go right back into the episode. It was absolutely a way to pad views. Ooh. That's never happened to me on Amazon Prime ever. And you know, I don't watch a ton. I I I've watched I watched something last night. A great UFO documentary, uh, by the way, called "Moment of Contact" by James Fox. Go check it out. Ooh, Fuck. okay, I'm writing Please. that down. Dude, that it's it is about the Brazilian Roswell, and it's uh, Ooh, it's, yes. it's, awesome. it's good. Okay. It's really right. good. Um, so, uh, yeah, they, they are padding views. They got busted. Um, even Forbes, um, that, that dude at Forbes has been calling them out and like, Paul I, Tassi. yeah, not Paul. Is it Paul? It's somebody else. It's Mark something. I think. Oh, is there the, okay. That's not yeah. Paul Tassi. He's got a, yeah, I think he had a man bun. So I tried not to look at his video too much because I can't look at bias. Man. man bun bias. You're damn right. I have it too, Gary. Oh yeah, damn man it, quarter priest. black. You gotta get that. No. Oh, I totally caught Jeremy wearing man priest. By the way. Ah <gasps> no, I saw them straight up. He's trying to deny it, and he tried to deflect, but something with pineapple pizza. When when Forbes calls you, it's bad. <laughs> What's up, Tug? Hi, Tug. Uh, when for, yeah, Forbes is shit. By the way, uh, but like the fact that they're at least being consistent on this, I guess we can appreciate it. Uh, the Guardian mm. too. We'll go over that as well. Yeah, the Guardian. But thank you. I mean, that was really generous. Thank you, uh, Allison. Bless you. Thanks for watching for a couple of years. Oh, hail tug. Uh, yeah, man prees. He was straight up wearing man prees. I was watching uh, some because I subscribed to all his channels and watch his stuff. Not that Jeremy will ever watches my stuff, but um. <laughs> Uh, but I was watching uh Geeks and Gamers play and some Mario Kart. It was kind of funny, kind of a funny clip. But then I see him laughing and his leg comes up and it's straight up like the pants end right below the knee. I'm like, oh no. Oh, <laughs> jeans, it's man prees. I guess you, know? you have failed me for the last time. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not gay. I have relationships with women, sex with men. And I got news for you. I need you again. I wait in my arms too. It, we, it, Jeremy can finally check a box for us. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought Ryan already did that. Never mind. Um, now he's just the most inclusion. Was that an otter plushie? It was so yeah. cute. Can I oh see it? Oh, my God. They showed oh, a plushie. So cute. I love plushies. <gasps> oh, 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 <laughs> it's so cute. I want one. It's uh, it's utterly adorable. Oh. Oh, and so are you for saying that. I hate kick him. No. I really, I, I feel, kick I really, Nina for saying kick me. Kick you. I can kick both of you. I'm gonna kick all of you. Okay. Can I if, you, you? if you kick me, I'm making a coffee. Wait, this I'm waiting. Can we keep the otter though? Stuff. We don't show off little stuffed otters. <laughs> <laughs> I got it sent to me as a present. I got it sent to me as a present. I want to get a stuffed beaver. He's got a stuffed cock too. <laughs> nice beaver. Wow. 
stuffed yesterday. Wow. Wow. I the two of you, you. Gary and Nina. Yeah. I thought I was the, the dirty one. You are. <laughs> Titles being taken away. Oh, Molly. Molly's ears must be bleeding. They're bleeding right now. That's okay. Fine. Hang on. I, I can see your stuffed cock right there. Whatever. Oh my wow. god. Oh my god. It's not a cock, it's a hen. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, Mahler, I wanted to ask, did you like scorn? No. It's hard. It's a hard game. Bop, bop. Um <laughs> now, now it's over. Let's come out and say it. We it's, lied. Uh, <laughs> we lied. It's like power is a stinker. Wow. <laughs> Were they calling it that before? I'm sure the no. Guardian gave it a good review before. No, the Guardian said that the Rings of Power uh, embarrassed the House House of the Dragon. Like, em, like I got one of the lines uh -huh. from the Guardian. Uh, well, look at Stuart Heritage there. Uh, you put your picture on the thing, dude. Um, the world's most expensive show, which looked like an episode of Hollyoaks. What the hell is that? BBC. That's uh, uh, an Australian soap opera. Okay. Huh? Uh, only with oh no, Hollyoaks. No, no, Hollyoaks is a is a UK soap opera. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's on Channel Four. Channel four. Oh, am I mixing up with neighbors? Neighbors is the Australian one, right? Neighbors and Home and Away, I think you might Home and Away is Australian. Right. I'm not too educated on my soap opera, is gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind on it, but you know. I used to watch them many, many years ago when I was a kid. Home and Away? Kind neighbors of and Home and Away. Hold on, let me let me try and ah oh, home and home and away. Let me oh, be no. the one that you run to <laughs> Gary kick. <away>. Gary. <laughs> Neighbors is a no! is a semi. I'm making a copy. Lucy, uh, movie. Um, <laughs> the last he did, may he rest in peace. Uh, Holly Oaks, only with woeful acting, uh, was so inept that every episode left you sniggering. Yes, like correct. That's correct word. What's a sniggering? Is that what? Is, what's a snigger? <laughs> what, what is a sniggering? Like that's this. a snigger. Okay. <laughs> And what it sounded like. Uh, a, when, a bit of a, a bit of a cheeky laugh. Yeah. When the Rings of Power debuted at the same time as House of the Dragon, much noise was made about the show attracted uh, more eyeballs. According to Nielsen, it was conclusive victory for Tolkien. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was not. House of the Dragon beat it because yeah, of uh, linear viewers. <laughs> it would have been confusing if it didn't, considering what was in these shows. Yep. So that yeah, they're just going off the Nielsen, which is like one uh one aspect of the ratings. That is misinformation. misinformation. Uh, uh rings of power fake viewers. news. It's fake news. Fake uh news. first two episodes for the 1.25 billion minutes, uh, compared to with House of the Dragon 741 million, um, but with less episodes and a linear broadcast, which accounts for 30% which means it, but by the way, more people, more actual people on the Nielsen ratings watched House of the Dragon than Lord, than Rings of Power. It was 14 million over the same time period to 12 million. Get it right, okay? But over weeks, something strange has happened. House of the Dragon has sucked up the spotlight. Uh, is that the same House of the Dragon that your rag said was embarrassed by Rings of Power? Interesting. It was a, tra uh, it has attracted tweets, theories, memes, discussions, all on a rolling boil since the first episode. Meanwhile, if the Rings of Power has been uh, seen anywhere, it was only in places paid for by Amazon. There are billboards and adverts and special Amazon packing tape adorned with the show's logo. But in terms of spontaneous organic excitement, it has been a wilderness. No shit. Who's been... Who's been saying this? See, this is... People this is, who are blocked, Gary. Oh. <laughs> people who are blocked. Okay, that that makes sense then. That actually makes sense. So thank, <laughs> thanks for answering that question. I was told... Yeah, I got to talk to you guys afterwards, too. I do. I was told many things that I can't... I, can't, I wish I could spill for all you guys right now. 
I, and I promise I will. Here's the here's the extra special thing. When I do spill, I can put a name to it. I'll give you that. I can put a name to it. It won't be my sources. It will be a person with sources. Gary's gonna my name sources. names. I'm gonna name. Well, they they said it's okay, but we have to do some work. Uh, normally I wouldn't even do anything like this, but, um, this is different. This is much, 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 much different. Uh, oh. okay. So we're back to the guardian, by the way, big shill for Dr. Who bet you can't wait till Sunday as I am. I am going to have to miss Sunday fun day for this, you know, uh, oh, it's happening. It's hap It's happening Sunday. Good old Doku. Are we expecting any tenant stuff in this I'm one? Sorry. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. Uh, I'm sorry, X Ray. I know. I'm sorry. It's my fault, X Ray Girl. Blame me. Just blame him. No, listen to him. Do blame him. Blame me. <laughs> blame oh, him. Yes, we will be you live. You see, sad Canadian bear. We will be live. Oh. Oh. And I'm then not... next week it's the meetup, isn't it? The week after it's the meetup. I so know be... I'm not gonna play with you. It's so Wait a minute. It's gonna be a but month, gets... over a month. Oh well, the real BBC will still happening because I'll be I'm not le flying out till Wednesday. So Yay. I won't all right, leave. okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh yeah, we'll be live. Uh, as and I will be live right after um the last female doctor played by Jody Whitaker um dies. So uh, we'll be very happy about that, but sad. It'll also be a kind of a, it'll be kind of a post mortem wake. Uh, why? Back to the article. Why? Well, now that the first season is finally over, there is one clear answer. The the rings of power. Mm, as I'm trying to abide and not say the title they have in front of this because it doesn't. It just cannot be there. It it cannot be there. The rings of power isn't very good. Um, what? Do you know what you can say, Gary? What? You can say that there are over 10,000 people watching the stream. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hello! Hi, everybody. Welcome. The Rings of Power sucked? <gasps> uh, it was... Uh, Pikachu shock face. Oh! A <gasps> what did the kids say? Oh a no! It wasn't rad. A it wasn't. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! They're saying rad again. That's rad. Um, Radical. A flaming dumpster fire nuked from orbit in 4K. Whatever you crazy kids say. <laughs> oh well, <-E> deep. <laughs> well, <-E> deep. What? <laughs> it wasn't lit. No. It wow! Was you sound cool. old. <laughs> isn't anything near good there are moments in almost every episode no they're not no they're not there's not a single moment there is maybe a sentence of dialogue that isn't offensively bad that does not make something good uh where i have found myself sniggering into my sleeve at how inept it is that i agree with and all these misgivings are massively underlined by the finale friday's finale episode promised to answer the question at the heart of the first season who is sauron now how brand we said it before the show started yeah months before the show started. <laughs> so many people some YouTuber friend of mine were like, no, he's not. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, some people were like, no, he's not. But it, like, a lot of people thought it was going to be the stranger, I yeah, think. Yeah, a load of people thought it was him. Uh, uh, as as yeah. literally read out the word-for-word -word dialogue <laughs> yeah. months before the show. I know you guys know this for the audience, though. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah. What well, do you think we were making that shit up? We don't do yes. that, Okay. I don't care. You know, every week when we were one hundred percent correct with everything that we said was going to happen, I yeah, the reason. <laughs> I, I think I speak for all of us here. We don't need to be first or or spoil anything. Like I don't. I, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to like react to what has been given to us. Purely, that is my motivation. I think that's pretty much what everybody uh, here does in, to varying degrees, right? But like the couple times I've been given information, I will pass it on when they say it's okay because it's from somebody who I like, especially with Doctor Who. It was a third-party person who worked on 
fuck with the fucking show closely, closely. So like, yeah, but otherwise now, now I hear all kinds of stuff. Um, and it like the press pretty much hears it too, but they put their spin on it. What, what the access media will never do, never do is say something like get woke, go broke. (laughs) They'll just never get into the real problem right now, which is Hollywood's politics. And their focus, their hyper focus on intersectionalism and identity politics. Now, what's what's the motivation behind that? That's the question. Is it conspiratorial? Is it just a bunch of basic bitches who are incompetent? Um, the answer is yes. Uh, back to this. Throughout the last few weeks, the show had been trying itself, uh, trying it itself into all kinds of knots, tying itself. He said trying. No, tying. I'm seeing it. God damn, that was dyslexia. <laughs> wow. I saw an art. <laughs> oh, shit. Senility's kicking in. Sorry, folks. Or maybe do you know I'm, what I'm not. Do you know what I'm going to do, Gary? I'm not going to mock you. Mock me. I, no. It's fine. No. Because I'm, I'm an empathetic p- person. An empath. I'm going to mock you when you fuck up. Mock me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say good tie. I'm just trying. For, I'm just I was going to say get bigger glasses, but. Wow. I saw an already R. had that gag. <laughs> <laughs> I saw an R there and it's just straight up not there. Okay. That made um, it bigger. Like in, you can read it. Itself into kinds of knots to get us to care about this. We, uh, wheeling out a truckload of mustache twirling figures with saran potential. Was it the evil orc everyone called father? The man who fell from the sky? Was it the evil woman who looked like uh, Who's the evil woman? From the, this country? Like crazy lady the, the witches people. You know, it, and this is, by the way, this is totally the problem. The, the core interest of the show is which one is Sauron? It's like, what do you mean? There's a whole season. What else did you do? It's like, no, that's pretty much it. <laughs> like the mystery. Yeah. Who is Sauron? Like, hey, that's not that. that. There was an origin story for Mount Doom and yeah, Mordor. Yeah, come on, guys. Betty Hobo created Mount Doom. Story from Mordor. Everybody yeah. wanted to know how that came to be. They <laughs> even spelled character. it out. Like they were like Southlands is Mordor. Mordor. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, did he die? Did Waldron or whatever his name is die? I don't know. If no, was Waldron. No, he he was in the last ep- He was in the last episode when Adar was walking around. Uh, oh, and they did the Mordor reveal. He was behind him. Who's Waldron again? The old dude? Uh, the guy I was calling Methrin Dill. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> or was it the man who spent the entire season hanging out with Guy Ladriel and was obviously Sauron all along? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? We did. Uh, he was Sauron all along. The thing is, one some... of his first lines was. Appearances can be deceiving. Yeah, I think from that point it was pretty fucking obvious who Sauron was. <laughs> I'll give people some uh, uh, sort of room on it because they were like, "Well, if he's Sauron, that means he just happened to bump into Galadriel in an ocean, really." And it's like, yes. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, Mola, he just so happened to be on a boat that just so happened to be attacked by a worm that mm-hmm. just so happened that he survived and landed on a raft full mm-hmm. of people. That just so happened to come across Galadriel, who had jumped off a boat herself mm-hmm. in the ocean uh, to swim back to Middle Earth, and then they got attacked again by the sea worm. It checks out. Yeah, he it was just done everything. all along. <laughs> it was Sauron all along. How many people are going to kill themselves watching Wait. Agatha Harkness? I say eleven. I think it's going to save. I don't include as. Um, he missed he missed a contender too, though that the little the little kid that was the Persian woman's daughter. I mean, son. Theo. Yeah, that one. What about him? As Sauron? Yeah, he was a contender. Oh, he was a potential. Yeah, yeah because he because he had the, sword. the broken uh, yeah, the yeah broken he was Sauron oh, sword, yeah. which was a fucking key to move a rock. Yeah, and like in the first two episodes, they were like hinting that it could be him. And he, you know, uh, the power. I agree. You, I agree. You, yeah. the power to you know, Saturn. <laughs> um, you know, you can tell a bad reboot production because you can just tell the scenes that, like, this is specifically for the trailer, right? Oh, yeah, you heard of Saturn, boy. And then, like, when uh, Feminem 
gets pushed by uh by um totally not Gandalf and like she puts her staff down and does her big yeah. dramatic putting her head. I was like, what the? F-? That was so lame. Uh, the only thing worse was her looking like she's mounting a giant, you know what, when she was freaking bowing. It's like, what the hell? When oh, she's my sitting- God. <laughs> Dude, look at how she moves. I uh, didn't uh, notice that. And oh, now- my God. God. Oh, my God. She, so when she's about to kneel, she, like, sticks her butt, like, way out. Like, it's like, like she's mounting something. Wow. I mean, the movement she makes is weird. And I think it's really I weird. Know, I think, I think I someone told her to do it. Or her she. she ain't Grace Jones. That's no. Not she no. She no. Grace <laughs> Jones. No Grace Jones. Grace Jones is fucking brilliant, by the way. Uh, uh, she was also in, in uh, View to a Kill, man. Fuck it up. Uh, so and, here's, and Conan, too. Who spent the entire season hanging out with Galadriel? Obviously, Sauron all along. Who knew? There's no point telling you the identity of Sauron if you watched you know who it is if you didn't watch you don't care and if you like collecting oh my god decontextualized hey I did it spoilers like strange little presents then you will have googled rings of power who was Sauron one second after the episode finished airing and been assailed by thousands of online publications screaming out the identity for clicks my point is uh, this good television cannot function on who shot Phil Mitchell or is it who shot Jr. It's who shot oh, Jr. Mitchell. Who should Enders be... reference? Who, yeah, yes, and East Enders reference. This guy Damn. must be British. He must be British. This guy. He has to be Bridget. Yeah. So for Americans, it's who shot. Hey, can you say British, please? British. 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 Can, you, can you respect just, the culture, please? You just put like a comma where the T is supposed to go. Brit- Ish. British. 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 Can I practice British. my British? British. Uh, it's it's all right. I'm it's practicing all right. my British. Cliff no, Nina, go okay, away. Okay, wench. <laughs> <laughs> right, I am a 19th century time. Victorian wench. N- and Nina I'm comes back with... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> by rat off. Well, I mean, at least there's one bit here to correct Nina. <laughs> oh, go. Oh. Uh, yes. Make, I'm making a coffee. Go. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm, I'm still waiting for House of the Dragon to come up. Yes. That might be the destination, but the journey also has to be enjoyable as well. And in terms of both plot and presentation, the Rings of Power simply hasn't cut the mustard Oof. uh but it did cut the cheese sorry that's a dad joke. Ew. it's a dad joke. i'm gonna give myself a rim shot for that oh my god hey okay, well wow. it's called a rim shot the rim wow. the rim the rims shotting of power that brings me back the to college dude wow. i didn't say rimming i said the rim shot okay jeez <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Listen, this is you can say, but I'm not gonna. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, the, yeah. I can't imagine. Never mind. I, I, yeah, just say it. Just say it. Just say it. No, no, no. no Let's no, move no. on. Let's move yeah, on. Moving on. Moving on. Right on. The biggest issue, the one, by the way, this is all stuff we've said. I just like seeing the access media cope. It's enjoyable. Okay. The biggest issue, the one that caused the bulk of the sniggering was the acting. <laughs> This is the show. Pause on that way. <laughs> wow, yeah, that got a little uncomfortable. That one. <laughs> something you do with your finger. I don't know. <laughs> <gasps> what? Wow. Was the acting? Uh, this is a show with a sprawling cast blasted across a number of locations, and there is no consistency whatsoever. People don't seem to have uh, people don't seem to have been told what sort of show they are acting in. It's bizarre. And I guess in Halbrand's case, he did not know he was Sauron in the first couple, three episodes. Hmm. The actor didn't? The actor didn't, yeah. I mean, I just, they should probably have let him know that. You think so? Yeah, it's how you manage to, you know, have the acting complement that. And, and it wasn't a situation of well, maybe you know they didn't tell him. on, you know, uh, no, they knew from the get go. This was one of the one of the early plot points that Halbrand would be Sauron, and they would ship him with Galadriel. Uh, yeah. Hence, why no Celeborn? 
Hence, no Celeborn, who might not even show up next season. So many well, people are saying the- Celeborn is Adar. And I'm like, what? What? She was. She would know her husband if she was talking to him. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why you're saying that. Well, they're, they're saying well, that he looks real different now. Okay, that he's forgotten who he was, and she's forgotten too because there's like a style for Sauron. That I don't. It's so stupid. That's that's reaching. You know what? <laughs> wow. It's, it's stupid enough to be in this series. Okay. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> um oh at its best largely thanks to the thrilling urge what at its best largely thanks to the thrilling urgent morphid clark who clearly felt the sting of every word she spoke the ring star came off as a pretty good prestige drama i have a tempest in um, me um, okay no, no she was the absolute worst thing in it she needs to be recast immediately. Like, yeah, or just she needs a new approach. They must have known about this. Like, everybody hates Galadriel, so they must know about that. They must be making a difference on it, you know. The Rings of the Power, came, yeah, or the next season that's going to be canonical. Mahler, I, I'm not really what does sure. that mean. Oh, yeah, what oh, you, mean? oh, right, right, right. Sorry, yeah, I, I read that too. The whole like this time we're gonna pay attention to what the source is, which is just like, well, why the fuck didn't you do it in season one? Well, it's a lie anyway, because that's what they say in Star Trek Discovery all the time. Next season, yep. Discovery yep. is gonna be more like original Star Trek that people love, and then they never do it. It's just a stupid carrot that they dangled, say, please come back, we'll give you what we want, but we're not gonna. But pa- yeah, uh, uh, Patrick McKay came out. And said, like, most of season two is already written. So they're like, oh, oh no, they're going to just forge ahead with uh, with what they got now. And like I said, fart in the wind. It won't it won't even register when it comes back. And then they also said uh, that Sauron next se- next season is going to be like Tony Soprano and Walter White because oh. they have oh, no finally. originality. Yeah, finally in Tolkien. Breaking Bad. There's a story behind that that's going to break your heart. It's going to break your heart. Oh, it's so bad where that comes from. That comes from somewhere, by the way. That 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 is J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay repeating something from someone else. This makes me think like... In the production. What's just, popular? It's like, oh yeah, Breaking Bad, Sopranos. It'll be like that, guys. I'm gonna tell you in the chat. You cannot repeat this to anybody. I'm gonna tell you mm. in the chat, though. Why did you just put sniggering in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> and you really emphasized one of the letters there, Gary. That's, yeah, that's who it came from. <clears throat> oh, oh, geez, what? Wow. Uh, Yikes. Uh, Yikers. Oops. Uh, you broke ass. Uh, <laughs> I have to Google that. Uh, no, as. Uh, you, you can make it. <laughs> You're going to make it. <laughs> You're going to make it. Stay oh, tuned. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> I got it. Pet, Sorry. Pet your oh. little. Oh, oh wow. Oh, go, go get your otter. Go get your otter and pet your otter, as it's a soothing. Oh, I think he's, he's your otter is that a That's euphemism. The or? Raz. Um, no, the euphemism uh, would have been the cock, Mahler. Come on now. Oh, so this is oh never mind. He's back. Yay! He's, back. he's resurrected. Even the, the bullets, they just, they just don't work. No. Anymore. Okay. As the white has returned. Rings <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, uh, so after yeah, praising I remember Clark, that. as her, after praising the urgent Morpha Clark, it looked like she urgently needed to go to the bathroom all the time. Mm. So yeah, yeah, just like Don Lemon last. Or you know what she looked like? She looked like a fucking rat. That's what she, she looked like most of the time. She looked like a rat who got her, her nose at Starbucks, and she's really pissed about it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the only time she was happy was when she was riding a horse. The only no, the only time she was happy was when she was riding a horse, and when Femron said, "You were right," and she cried a tear of Karen. 
Because <laughs> that she was so happy to have somebody validate that mm. she was right. And she was, and then she let into Femron that she went. I know. You flip too hard, damn it! Oh yeah, and that one time she beat up all the Numenorean soldiers. That was great. That one time in Numenor. <laughs> Gladriel stuck a flute up of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you had to spell that out. Like the the power came off as a pretty good prestige drama. No. Uh, <laughs> Fuck off. It's worst. Oh boy. There was some toast of London acting <laughs> on display. Some cherry <laughs> regional theater matinee performance stinking up the place. I don't want to single any individual actors out more. Oh, for right. I <laughs> would. I will. Uh, partly because <laughs> Letty, Letty Henry. Be cool. It's like like you took a job. Yeah. yeah you took a job and they you took good on it. You took they took her jabs. Knife is knife is. <laughs> Uh, did you just call me your knife is because i'm black what do you mean you people <laughs> <laughs> mainly because i suspect it's the fault of the directors rather than the actors even in friday's episode some of the smaller parts appeared to have been beamed in directly from an unaired 1983 episode of Doctor Who. Don't you fucking dare disrespect 1983 Doctor Who with this. Yeah, how dare Fuck you, you ah. sir. Fuck you. Um, 1983 Doctor Who is fucking shit. Oh, babe, that'd be fun, babe. It's fucking classic it's shit. Yeah, we're oh, talking about what, what, what year did Peterson take over? Peter Davison. Yeah, Peter Davison. That's a Peterson. It was I, made, I mixed. I put them together. One man. Eighty-four. So we're still in. Okay. Tom yeah. 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 So Tom Baker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a good director with an overview of the entire series would have steered moments like this into safer territory. Uh, yeah. You mean like it would have been better with a good director, a good producer, a better writer, and better actors? Yes. Yeah. I agree. Uh, it, it didn't end there. Oh, he goes after Bear McCreary. Remember? Remember? Remember, man bear, man uh, bear. The music uh, was Berry. was awful in this. Music it was, was awful. Shit. And he and and he called us all racist. Wait, mm. Ben McCready McCready did? did. Yes, he I did. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. no! And I like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I love oh my god! Can somebody just nuke Hollywood in Minecraft right now, please? I love his music in God of War. No. <laughs> Dude, his Battlestar Galactica soundtrack is second to none. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he called us sec racist and sexist yep, or whatever. Yep, yep. Yeah, because it makes sense. You don't like music. You didn't like my music. You're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Score was yeah, racist ears. Therapy and phoned in as if he fell asleep on the fantasy preset on his keyboard. The whole thing was lit as if it was an episode of Hollyoaks. Given the sheer amount of money thrown at this show, some of the visual effects were incredibly inept. Tonally, too. The drama didn't even uh, know if it meant for it to be a beginner, intermediate, or expert level Tolkien, or for those Tolkien fans. Uh, as such, it felt like it was made for nobody. A while ago, someone in the financial side of the television industry reminded me that Amazon isn't in the television company. It's this guy who said it. It's a mail order business that dabbles in TV to boost its cred. The Rings of Power seems to be a perfect case in point as if Amazon dumped a billion dollars into it for the headlines, then ignored a lot of the details. That's exactly what happened, by the way. They were okay. So they didn't ignore them. They, they they got intimidated by them and started out with those details. They had the right people on board. Shippy was around. They were going in a direction, and then they went. It's too hard, and um, there was a change of leadership. I mean, this is all public, right? So Jennifer Salky comes in with no fucking experience in fantasy or she's she's a broadcast television marketing tool. Um, and uh, yeah, and we got exactly what she wanted. This is her baby. This is her baby now. 
and it's all on her. That's why there was this big fluff piece on her. At the same time, there was the basically the cope piece uh, where they called the fans patently evil. <clears throat> there was another article that came out the same day just evil. talking about how amazing she is, and she practically wrote it herself. The frustrating thing is that there are there is clearly so much potential here. No, I just don't know if I have it in me to watch any more to see if it uh, is ever realized. Um, no is potential. It, nobody's going to go back to this. Nobody. Nobody. I don't even know if like it's it's the difference between like Star Trek. Each season, Star Trek Discovery aired like. The anger faded into apathy. It's just like that. By the middle of the third season, nobody gave a fuck. They're just like, it's done. It's gone. This is the Star Trek I love is gone. And I honestly don't give a fuck how great Picard season three is. You're never going to pull in what you had in Picard season one and Star Trek Discovery season one. They aired Star Trek Discovery season one, the first episode, on, on regular terrestrial TV. The whole season. No, well, they did it later, but the premiere episode actually premiered oh. the same day it, the series premiered, and it had eight and a half million people watch it. A lot of fucking people watched it. Do you know how much watched it when they showed the whole series, Gary? Uh, not even close to that. No, it was about, uh, I think, either 1.5 million or 2.5 million. It was absolutely abysmal. Yeah, they had to air first episodes for free on YouTube. And they were getting destroyed, by the way. And they had to turn off comments. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I forgot about that, man. All the evil people! Stop the evil! I, I think uh, part of the reality we have yeah. to understand here, especially when combined with what uh, Gary's just saying, was that what do they want to make? It's like, well, they want to make classics. They want to make things that everyone goes back to that make shit tons of money. But they're, like, really bad at it. Like, like hideously awful at it to the point where it's just like these shows. Because yeah, if you were wondering what's going to happen in Rings of Power, as was just mentioned, I think Star Trek Discovery would probably be a pretty good template for where it's going to go for the for the histories, if you will. It's like everyone's still talking about TNG, the original series, even the ones that come after it. As someone who doesn't know anything about Star Trek, I can say yes, all of that. Man. And then who talks about like, oh yeah, throw in Discovery in your rewatch? It's like what? No. <laughs> so, I I think these shows feel. It, they feel like algorithm has made them. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that sense as well. Well, Kevin made the Marvel ones, so maybe, <laughs> maybe had they have a similar one for the Star Treks. It's being made by AI, and that's well, why it'll look like fucking. Oh, shit. that Kevin. Oh, that dude. Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, so, that Kevin. I, I love how they made fun of the effects team again. Yeah. Like, yep. Um, after all the fucking news, like that is wow, you didn't edit that out, huh? And I think it's fucking funny as hell, by the way. I'm glad they didn't edit it out, but it's like, woo, you really just don't give a fuck, do you? Uh -huh. Um, they probably didn't even know that news is out there, they probably don't even know they're so aloof. Uh, I would yeah. be surprised, by the way, if they thought if we play into it a little bit, maybe we can get away with more shitty stuff in future, maybe. Like Maybe. Shading, right? It's just like, hey, hey, look how shit we are. We can be shit more, right, guys? You like it. You find it fun. Come on. You like hey, it. Um, did the Rings of Power fumble its release or just set itself up for success in season two? <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what? You're setting yourself up for success by failing miserably. Yeah, that's we what Kamala out. Harris did. I don't think that's how setting yourself up for success works. We set out okay. to completely suck in the first season to make the second season look better. What? <laughs> what? But I. What even I, is I've that? Ne never heard of that one. No. It, it hurts my brain a little bit. Amazon's astronomically expensive Lord of the Rings prequel hasn't made half the splash the streamer might have hoped. By the way, this is a Variety saying this, but there's still mm. time. Uh, no, no there isn't. No, they they know so little about fandom. Do they? Like, they don't oh, yeah, care this, this about was, fandom. Never mind, no little. They have no idea how important this this was. First impressions <laughs> are everything. Yeah. Of all the possible outcomes facing Amazon's The Rings of Power, the one I didn't see coming is that I'd end up feeling the need to defend it. Basically, everything about the show's production, i.e., Bohemoth Corporation spending unfathomable, fathomable. Oh, I would. I can say it. Want me to right now, thanks. Amounts of money on a 
uh, blatant IP grab for a streaming service on the edge of relevance. Represents everything <laughs> about the entertainment industry. The age of TV reboots seems uh, almost quaint now in the era of endless prequels and sequels to spinoffs of franchises as the most expensive television series of all time. All time, the Rings of Power should by all rates be enemy number one. Well, it is. Uh, the fact that you don't think it is shows like how fucking detached the access media is. And yet, on the eve of the first season coming to a close, all I can muster is pretty sort of confusion that the series isn't half the pop culture monster it once promised to be. The show's good. <laughs> I keep yelling at no one in particular. Morphin Clark's Galadriel rules. Do we really okay. need to go on after this? Wow. Who who's Carolyn Framke? Carol oh, she related to um Framke Jansen. No, I that would be cool. <laughs> what it is would, she it, it wouldn't make sense, Gary. Because <laughs> uh, if they married, she'd be called Framke Framke. What does she write about? Who should be the next James Bond? Here's some black people. That's the kind of shit that we get. Yeah, this is like basic bitch. Um, yeah, she doesn't know shit about shit. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, it's good. Galadriel's great. Yeah, you're done. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, bye. Fuck it, bye. Uh, yeah, she's the worst thing in it. And yeah, she's the kind of person who tweeted out how awesome Rainey's big entrance at the end. Ruined a pretty good episode of television up until then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Taker 610 for $20 says, uh, Sour Brand, what did they tell you about your brother, Guy Ladriel? They told me you killed him. Sour Brand, no, Galadriel, I am your brother. Tell me that doesn't make more sense in the context of the show. Yes, if you're not listening to the dialogue, <laughs> it's kind of what happens. What, what, then he what, says, touch my darkness. It was well, yeah. weird. That whole scene was weird because it, I don't know. It's like, what, wouldn't she see her husband if she's going into like some sort of vision? Like if he's trying to seduce her, like, wouldn't you be like that whole brother thing? Like, I, I was like, what the fuck? Like, it seems incestual and it's weird. It, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's alluding, it's alluding like, to the fact that she was in love with a brother. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it, it, I don't know. It, it was so gross looking. Like, that whole don't, scene just made no Stop sense. confusing love with in love oh. and stop confusing friendship with relationship. Yeah. Um. Oh. So, when they like, when, when they don't show Morgoth, you know. Like you would think yeah. they would show more mm. going like once they can. Well, I mean, I thought that they were going to show the tree that was fading away and the elves were dying and then they didn't. And yeah. Like, they, they, they can't show them. They can't mention the other two brothers. Like the, the things they're not mentioning it's because they can't. <laughs> you know what they did do though? Yeah. They found another simmer. <laughs> they managed to, um, <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, for some reason they're not supposed to twist the lore, except we're gonna just make uh Mithril into vibranium, basically. Just a magic uh map. magic vibranium though. Yeah, that senses when it can like, merge together would make an alloy. You know so what they like, instead of like rings good and evil in it, which is why yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. Not to mention is it got good and evil in it, it's explicitly good at getting rid of evil. Which is like, wait, but if it's good and evil, why would wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. You know, getting a little lost here. You Remember, know that the Balrog's going to be the strong. Balrog that was attacking the tree. It's It's got light and uh, something else because it's good, but because it's evil, it's got strength and an unyielding like nature. Just Gilgalad saying that a common part of evil is being strong. I don't like the way it's written, guys. I'm going to be honest I with don't. you. <laughs> I don't either. That is just some uh, st stupid shit. Bruh. WG yeah. has with five nerdrotic memberships for $25. Thank you, WG. See you in Orlando, my friend. A week from tomorrow, I'll be flying out to Orlando. <gasps> You're flying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm not looking for it. I might not. And I always reserve the right, my wife knows this, to change my mind and say, nope, we're driving. Okay. I'm okay. I, I understand that. Yep. 
Pay for the leg room. Time. Worth it. Oh, I hope we are. She she booked the flight. Yeah, I hope we didn't get some Sydney Watson seat. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Because I won't. Oh, my God. That was so the, funny. The though. pictures are ridiculous. <laughs> I love how she's in the news. Sydney, I'd it. like to apologize to you live on air. Hey, right doctor. Now. <laughs> she's Dr. Sydney Watson. Dr. Yeah. Sydney Watson. Yeah. Uh, I loved in I the know. articles though they lo they lose like these really good <laughs> pictures of her. I'm like, oh look at Sydney. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh good. Yeah, because they're trying to say this hot project. chick is fat shaming people. <laughs> I know, and everyone's just well, and everyone's just yeah. taking Sydney. So. I mean, the answer to that it technically is yes. This hot chick is fat shaming people. Good. <laughs> Yeah. Did you see like the main letter that she received that where they gave her credit and like oh they called him Dr. Sydney Watts? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's great. So uh, that was, that's, I mean, it's really kind of peak 2022 if yeah. you think about it. It really peak is. Peak media as well. It is. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Burnett has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you. Grand Dark Fang, two parts, $40. Thanks for doing the math for me. Exit a goo. Uh, reminder that She Hulk never apologized for Bruce and his life's work and broke reality to rewrite everyone's memory and avoid accountability for her actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was also okay. the writing room not knowing what the fuck they're doing. So they're like, well, we can just get out of this easy. We can just break the fourth wall. Uh, Grand Dark Fang, the second part. Uh, we are at the point where Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2 take the idea of rewriting people's memories more seriously than the MCU. The MCU is dead. Like it it jumped the shark with She Hulk. That was it. Like there is, we are now at point of no return. I was waiting okay. for it to for the shoe to drop and it dropped. Hey, Gary, there like speaking of incest, by the way, in that in that <laughs> article. Really? I was, were, we, were we really were you? <laughs> no, because I was I was talking about how Guy Ladriel was okay, okay. weird about her brother. Uh, in that same article about uh, She Hulk, like that sexualizing whatever for kids, um, they mentioned that she had really great chemistry with Bruce, and I was like. Bruce is her cousin. Like, why are you saying that she has great chemistry with fucking Bruce? Like that. I don't know. I just thought it was gross. They're weird. They're weird. They're weird and single and drink box wine and text and gossip all the time and drink more box wine and okay. go on Tinder and get rejected and go <laughs> home and drink themselves to. They don't even go to sleep. They pass out and come to. I, I know, they need great. a meeting. They need a meeting. There's they a lot really of great meetings in Burbank, by the way. There's fan at least last time I was there and I went to a meeting. Fantastic recovery in Burbank. You want to know why? Because there's a lot of well-practiced drug addicts. In <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, but there's like, yeah, there's some people with some real time that they should probably go listen to. But I was just like, oh, like chemistry with your cousin. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. That's well, the, if, if it, right. If she wasn't a whore, that would be fine. Because the two actors, so they got, you know, so you could say they got good, at, they got good chemistry between them, which is good because they're family. But when say, your, your character, right? Hmm? We have good chemistry, yes, right? We got good chemistry. That's and why we stream on that. Oh my God, shipping yeah. as a dollar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What's Mol their Az. name going to be? Asler or Molaz? Mol I think, I think Mol <laughs> Molaz. 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 But the character in the show fucked three different guys in four episodes. All yeah. of them one night stands. Yes. One of them she raped. The other one abused <laughs> her. And then the third one was fucking blind and didn't know what he was going in for. Uh, mm. Dude, and, and the show itself calls her a slut and doesn't really oh, recount that at the end. <laughs> no, it just has to rewrite the ending. So what you when you have an accusation, even if it's from the the antagonist, there has to be some action or writing to prove that that's not the case. And they didn't do that. They just like, no, we'll just pretend it, that she wasn't a slut, mm -hmm. which, by the way, the show called her not any of us. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I called her a whole. I, I called her a slut. <clears throat> Oh as, <laughs> you, as you have to you have to correct yourself here because to be fair whores get paid to have sex she never got paid no holes don't necessarily get paid to have sex well fries i mean that was cost money Spoiled hey that's fries. true that costs money fries. Yeah. that's true okay she chips. Sorry. Chips. Right. 
Some remember, shit. remember also this this guy, that first guy, she a created a She Hulk profile because Jen didn't get the attention that she wanted. Even though Jen, of course, in episode one, complained about getting attention. Never mind about that. It's all hypocritical. She's a hypocritical whore. Uh, and then she made a, a She Hulk Tinder profile, swiped on a bunch of dudes, including a bunch of gay guys. For some reason, it was a bit weird. Uh, went on dates with them. Apparently on the same night, by the way. It was uh, all the same then, night. She was like speed then, dating. When she like, met the guy, he said, I don't talk about me. Let's talk about you. And she said, that is enough for me. I'm going to fuck you now. <laughs> the, the, Wait, you're a doctor? How much money do you make again? Okay, let's go. You're, you're a doctor that, that takes care of kids with cancer? Fuck that. Let's talk about me. Mm. I'm narcissistical. <laughs> I'm bed. a whore. I will I will fuck you tonight, by the way, dude. Mm. You don't need to you don't need to worry. You're in. You're in already. You're inside me already. Okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, by the way, um, for kids. They wanted to for make kids. it. Yeah, this is all for kids. Movie. Positive, so, positive sex. That's positive. Why positive are you, sexuality. Why are you trying to push sex on kids full stop. But, for kids. Sex positive. Uh, groomer. Uh, the tennis. only the only somebody, the only person who wants to put, push something positive sex wise onto a kid's a fucking pedo. Okay, wait, okay, legit question, legit question. In the comics, there's a lot of people that say in the comics she was promiscuous. Yes. So. She didn't fuck three guys in four issues. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. That's a great, that's okay. She had partners, but she didn't I, fuck I three different blokes. She didn't fuck there, Captain there. America in issue four, and then in issue five, fuck Iron Man, and then issue seven, fuck Hawkeye. Okay, I'm I'm just wondering because that's that's a lot of people's There's argument. Dating and promiscuous, okay? Mm -hmm. There is. I mean, like I, I'm not a Christian, so I don't I don't believe in the no sex until marriage. Some do, and I respect that. That's fine, but I don't. Uh, so there's a difference between like I'm gonna just sleep with five guys in five days. Same with guys sleeping with five girls in five days. Uh, it's equally. But there's no con the, the thing. The, yeah. Gary, the thing is, there's no, there was no connection with the guys, right? No. no. So it, it, it didn't come across like she was. She really liked them. She was really in love, or anything like that. The, mm -hmm. Like I said, the first guy is Tinder guy. Mm -hmm. Just you know, you want to, you you into a culture like that? That's your prerogative, you know. But uh, this is a TV show, so I got to I got to critique that. The second guy, again, she if she had an ounce of self awareness, she would have been she would have realized that something was up here because she went to this wedding, <clears throat> got blackout drunk because she's an alcoholic, yeah. blackout drunk at this uh, 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 at this wedding. And then the guy started just to, to say, oh, you know, uh, you know, hi, how you doing? And then she goes outside, vomits everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he's like, hey, let's let's hook up for, you know, let's hook up for a date. No, she did you know, <laughs> only somebody who is narcissistic would think, oh, that's really cool, uh, normal behavior that a man would be interested in. And then Daredevil, Daredevil actually didn't want to sleep with her at first. He said, well, he didn't make any advances on her. He, she said, when, are you, when do you have to go back to New York? And he's like, I go back, I fly back tomorrow. He said, but when, when I return, you know, I'll return at some point. When I return, let's go out for a meal. And then she just went, no, I'll, I'll, I will fuck you right now. So there's no development awesome. of any relationship with any of these men whatsoever. Well, there's no, though... there's, as soon as somebody pays her, it, all it is is somebody pays her a little bit of attention and then she's like, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. Well, and X-Ray Girl, you were going to say something? Oh, yeah. Well, even when she went on the dates with that one guy that was trying to get her blood. Yeah. Um, th like, it was like, okay, we're going on some cute dates. We're laughing, all this. Mm -hmm. And there was no kissing. There was no hand holding. And all of a sudden, he's in bed with her on the third date. Like, but she yeah. wanted him in the room in the second date. Yeah. And, and I but find she that She went well. back outside to get him in, but he'd gone. So, so she had to is, wait for the third date. What is that telling kids? Like, zero to 100. What about but all the things in between? We all, we all have the, you know, we all heard of the 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 three date rule. Mm -hmm. So they literally were just going through motions, but Jen just wanted to fuck him immediately. You knew that. Yeah. yeah. They were going oh, through oh, motions oh. Of, of three date rule to make it look like she wasn't 
the massive alcoholic uh, narcissistical the, the whore that she news, was. The good news here is uh, no kids are watching this show. So I know they're making yeah. for kids, but no kids are watching. The average age of a dis a D plus subscriber is like fifty. The lady said nine year olds are calling her Gary. And I say that as an old. I am an old. Uh, and that's your average. That's your average Disney Plus subscriber age. It's pretty. Excuse, it way old. Like out, almost out of the demo. Out of the Ga demo, Gary. The, the the lady said that nine year olds are calling her to say how the, they love this yeah, show. That was I was like, no, they're not. Who's fucking um, call? Who's nine and calling it, like, you? These people are perpetual liars. Too. How has the nine year old got your number? Yeah, like what the hell? Is it your niece? <laughs> yeah, like are nine year olds calling? I don't like, know. They're fucking liars. It's the they're LA kids. moms, okay? <laughs> no, it's her own daughter uh, calling her from uh, at the nanny's house. That's that. her from the yeah, yeah. You're right. That's probably what's happening. <laughs> really saying, Mommy, I want to see you. I haven't seen you in a week. <laughs> oh, no. It's true. It's true because this show is exactly like about destroying the nuclear family this is what the message is in this in this show is they want to talk about how men are just disgusting they don't even talk about a groom uh, like uh, the, the groom but they in fail, that episode Nina. they fail miserably because oh. they're just like we don't need no man we don't need no one we don't need nothing that's what i'm saying they, they're the just dissing it, she's the nuclear jobless, family she's homeless she's manless yeah. and so she has to break through the she's broke <laughs> manless. broke manless. So she has to break the fourth rule yeah. to redo, get rid of all her fuck ups, and then create a fantasy ending which doesn't even exist in her world. No, it doesn't. But that's the show, though. I'm saying the subliminal messaging in the show for the kids is to be disgusting sluts, um, and that you know you don't need no man. Keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna get a participation trophy if you even become like even a little bit of a lawyer like if, you, if you're uh if you're a woman like if you're a woman all you have to do is apply for something and you're gonna get a participation trophy anyways like these are the kind of messages they're putting in the show they're not they're not putting anything good in the show kids well, aren't learning yeah. anything good x-ray girl's gonna get uh the best female producer award here at nerdrotic because she's the only female Yay. oh uh <laughs> it's okay you can keep it. I, I do my thing. <laughs> I don't I need a participation math. trophy. If it's an Asian well, trophy, I'll be Perry Chan. Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, my God. The best <laughs> Asian <laughs> award. Best Asian. Yeah. Gonna, let's do the best Asian of the year at Nerd Rotic and have you guys, like, fight Watch over Garrett it. Watch Garrett win. The, award, <laughs> the, the, award, the award's yeah. a broken stick, and you have to fight to the death. It's yeah. got to be like the MTV Video Awards where people yes. vote for their favorite Asian. Best, best Asian at Nerd Rotic. <laughs> vote for your favorite oh, Asian sorry. now. <laughs> Hashtag stop Asian hate. I'm, I think there's a poll coming on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win in a fight between me and Perry Chan? Oh God! Um, all the X-ray girl simps would go X-ray girl. Uh, she would because she's giant. She's um, seven foot eight uh, and has a mean right hook. She picked me up. You picked me up. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. She picked me up. That she's the first woman since my mom to pick me. <laughs> yeah. up. That's insane. <laughs> Gary, Gary's yeah. like, uh, the person who was the heaviest was Alex Stein. Oh my god. Wait, did, that, did she like boy. she hulk you? Like, did she like carry you like this? Like the way that she, she hulk carried that dude? And went, picked me up like that. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I was shocked. X-ray girl, you didn't pick me up. Even uh, though we I, I, I would definitely be able to pick you oh. up, Lisa. <laughs> what? I don't, I, uh, we can do it next time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could be some youngsters out there. I hope not. But uh, She Hulk director Kat Cairo says production team wanted to make the oh, series right. about a woman navigating sex, but also something that had that everyone can enjoy, including children. <laughs> hey kids, do you, wanna, do you wanna watch a middle a 35 year old woman uh get blackout drunk at a friend's mm -hmm. wedding because she isn't the focus of attention to the point where she pukes all over the fucking grass and plants outside. That's a great lesson for children. What, my, video, she... 
Oh, go on. I was going to say, she's so selfish. Her friend said not to hulk out. And she hulked out. And she hulked yep. out. Yeah, well, can you just come as Jen, not she hulk? Oh, right. no. Well, Titania, sorry. Well, Titania slipped on some... <sighs> Even though she hulk had punched her in the face, uh, Titania slipped on some ice and then smashed all of veneers on the tile floor. Yeah, yeah. And, didn't, and didn't Jamila Jamil like <laughs> break her butthole in real life on the set? What? Something like that. Something, yeah, she 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 it injured her butt, but, but not, she just like, did a horrible interview a couple of days ago about something, and I don't want to talk about. And I just I, think I she's probably either. one of the most vile human beings on the planet. Yeah, now. she's terrible. Oh, really? Send send it to me. I don't know what you're talking about. He's uh, <clears throat> not good. Uh, according to she in the DM. Director okay. Kat Koro, in addition to trolling the trolls, a secondary goal of Marvel's latest D plus series was to present a story about a woman navigating sex, but also making it something that everybody can enjoy, including children. Well, I mean, again, we're yeah. seeing no kids, no ki all kids are marked safe from She Hulk because they didn't watch it. Um, and uh, except for Simon Pegged, who apparently liked it a lot. <laughs> Blazing uh, Saddles levels of comedy, Gary. Blazing is, Saddles levels. That is the Disagree. dumbest statement I've heard this year. This day? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. well, Can we go year, lifetime? Year ain't over yet. Uh, Cara provided the insight into her team's intent with Jade Giant Giantess during a post-game interview given to Polygon following the airing of She-Hulk's first season finale. Uh, so thankfully, I mean, if it wasn't for bounding and other people boosting it on Twitter, nobody would have heard it because it's on Polygon. Like if you have a, if you give an interview on Polygon, does anybody really hear it unless somebody no. else? <laughs> so you're making like the fucking, does it, if a tree falls yeah, in the woods, the tree. if an interview is delivered that. by Polygon. <laughs> happen. Uh, if an interview happens in Polygon, did anyone even read? When she said the nine-year-old thing, I was just like, you're either a really creepy pedo or, like, your family members are calling you. Like, that is a really fucking weird thing right, to say. Right, okay, nine-year-olds have your number? Like, it's so fucking weird. Put it in this context, okay? Because let's just say Gary does a video and Gary says, hey, nine-year-olds have been calling me up to say <laughs> how much they like my Rings of Power videos. Think, that is think so of how creepy. dumb that would sound, how weird and creepy that would sound. Why is it any different here? It isn't. It that isn't. is fucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking pedophonia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holly weird. Therein, the director explained that not only did the series production team set out to, as previously affirmed by series head writer Jessica Gao, uh, focus their story on the smaller moments of superheroes' lives and being able to see a superhero uh, coming home and kicking off their shoes and bitching about trolls. Oh, wait, that's I made I put that part in, but to also address that they are perceived, uh, perceived as a societal fear around sex and around the idea of sex positivity. Oh, you, you're they're just dumb, they learn some new words. And they, they're, they're not applying them right. I mean, they're creepy, too. Okay. Women can be creepy as dudes. Mm -hmm. There is a quality there. Uh, Olivia Wilde, ha have you seen? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I saw, like, some of her DMs leaked. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. What uh, What are we dealing with? Wow. Yeah, what, what's going on with that? Oh, she, um, it was something to do with her husband was... She bailed on her kid to deliver Harry Styles uh, a salad with her special dressing. Uh, and oh. yeah, she she yeah. like she abandoned her family to go bang Harry Styles, uh, proving that women uh, directors are just as evil as men. So I think she has brought true equality to Hollywood. So I want to thank her for that. Turns out she, it was people she's all a, along. No she's a, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was people all along. It was Hollywood <laughs> all along. Right? Oh, so, yeah. Special big, sauce big, on the salad. I, I don't know. feminist don't know. going after Jordan Peterson. While she's going after Jordan Peterson, a guy who's like, clean your clean your room. Don't. Do 
Don't be an incel. Uh, no, like she's like banging the star in her position of power while the star is banging somebody else. And then the two actresses got mad because they were both banging the same guy. Yeah, it's like, and like, that's normal Hollywood. I don't have a problem with that. But uh, what I have a problem with is the hypocrisy. They try to act like they're better than us while they're wearing their $25,000 dresses, uh, shooting like um, vanity projects in Palm Springs, going after somebody that she's never really researched and calling him dumb. All, Olivia Wilde calling Professor Jordan Peterson dumb. Mm. Uh, yeah. So it is our job to keep uh, having the conversation, she said. We wanted to say, look, she's a woman in her 30s navigating modern life. Sex is a part of that story. And ask how far could we go? Well, I mean, like, we just should have seen Daredevil, like, driving at home with She-Hulk. Uh, you know, why not? You know, what, what, when's that going to change? By the way, no coincidence that um, some laws were relaxed in my former state. Of California uh, to 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 walk. Uh, we're on the journey towards decriminalizing having sex with children. Yeah, it, lowering the age. Yep, it's yeah. it's it's starting to happen, folks. So it's yeah. uh, kind of up to you and me oh. to vote against this shit across the board. <clears throat> As uh, you know, there's just uh, there's basic rules for our society to exist, and this is one that will break it and destroy it. Yeah. Bleach. Don't let them become part of that alphabet, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. And, and, and culturally, that's, it, it has everything to do with Hollywood. Yep. Like, that's why, you know. Um, it does. You know, when, when people on the right, sometimes they have some horrible takes. Okay. They have takes about animation and anime and whatever. <laughs> I and, saw that one recently. That was interesting. That's why the conservatives <laughs> suck at the fucking culture war. And it's good that some of them are coming over. Like, but like we can't be like But it just shows Gary how it. fake the the those type of people are when they try and get into the culture war. It's yeah. not yes. they don't yeah. believe in it. It's not like we believe in it because these important. are franchises that we love. These are these Correct. are people on the right who are saying, mm -hmm. Oh, look, look at look at this, what's going on here? This is going against that, so let's join in with this, and it just, you know, and you say correct. something stupid it's like correct. that, well, then it's it comes across the um, Yeah, and um, I, I, you know, don't agree what he said on that. You know, I've got my issues with certain anime, not, but I'm not going to, like, say all. Same here. Uh, I, I like a lot of it. Um, I like and a I'm lot an, of it. I'm a huge anime fan, and I have, an, I have issues with some anime. Some anime is fucked up. Well, I mean, also, you might want to not be, like, <laughs> calling it Calling There's it something some... like satanic and then being like, don't know yeah. why though. I just have a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's, right. There's comic books too, like like Crumb, our Crumb. You know, I liked uh, Fritz the Cat, right? When I was a kid. But then I saw mm -hmm. the Crumb documentary and I saw him and his brother. I'm, I'm like, fuck this dude. I fuck, have dude. no idea. Our Crumb, creep. Okay. Absolute creep. And his brother was even worse. Um, yeah. The Crumb documentary says it all. They admit to it. Like it's, it's gross. It's fucking sickening. Uh, there's a reason he moved to France. Oh, uh, is he I know it's up with um. He likes littles. What's what your game? Littles, yeah. Oh, boy. oh, his brother talks about um. Gross. Wasn't Cutie's French? Yes, it yeah. was. Yes, it was. My cat is doing things. Be right back. Yeah. <laughs> so his brother talks about like uh, ogling of like a, a 14 year old girl in the documentary. Yeah, and I like switched it off. And people are like, it's just art. It's art. So I'm like, no, fuck that. I was playing at my store, by the way. I was playing at my store. I'm like, no. And I fucking tossed it in the trash. I said, goodbye. Uh, I don't, uh, I know it's uh, something that's very important to star Tata, Tatiana Maslany. Uh, what, a vapid narcissist actress, uh, talented or not, that that's what she is. Uh, this idea of sex positivity and the kind of smashing the rules when it comes to women. Dude, this what? isn't the fucking 70s, right? Uh, the sexual revolution. We're actually post-sexual revolution. Very post. Do you remember... Um, uh, there was like several arcs in Buffy about her getting a boyfriend until she realized that shouldn't be how she defines her life. Like, But she dates a whole fucking bunch of them. So this is like, when, when was this new? Like... Women need to get a, bo a boyfriend. Th In fact, I'm like kind of regressing it a little bit. 
Yes, huh. massively, massively, Mola, a massively. little, <laughs> yeah. It's been what lot. this is. What this is, dude. This is uh, attempting to wrap this up as sexual liberty. It's not. It's a woman who is not taking responsibility for her sex life. That's what it is. And but she's she's shown throughout the whole series she's irresponsible, she's mm -hmm. childish, she's narcissistical, she's self-centered. Uh, so so everything about this character, everything that goes around sexual liberation is, is horseshit. She can do what she wants. She can fuck who she wants, when she wants, how she wants. But it's about taking responsibility for that. And she doesn't because at the end of the show, she has to fucking wipe it all. Wipe it all. The key to liberty and freedom is, yes, you can do and say what you want. But it, the key to that and being an adult is self-restraint and mm -hmm. responsibility. What Az just said, it, it means you don't do everything. I don't want the gov government mandating shit like ever. I want us to like just recognize what's right and wrong, you know, sexualizing children wrong. That's, that's just like that's wrong. That's wrong. You don't have to be religious to believe that at all. It's fucking wrong on every level. Uh, there's like also manipulating people, right? Happening. The whole like le not letting him know what who Jennifer Walters is before sleeping with him because some other people once they find that out are like, ooh, just like that's not that's not that's not good, man. To 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 have that presented, you know, uncritically. And yeah. to almost try and make that guy the bad guy, like that made me super uncomfortable watching it. If it, if it was a man that did the same thing, this the internet would be going. I say the internet, Twitter, of course. Psycho female Twitter would be going mental, Mola. If a man, you know, could change form and pretend he oh, was yeah, something yeah, else, yeah. and then and then fuck a woman, and then the next day be like, "Oh, this is me," by the way. They'd be crying. They would be crying rape, just and like I said out, he right? was. Like if she summons, if a guy summons a girl out of the sky to fuck, <laughs> like Jeez. at the end, <laughs> that they'd be fucking freaking out. And it's it's just the double standard. And they're trying to call out the double standard. But again, this isn't the freaking seventies. Uh, women have sex, like uh, that's what they're women trying like to sex too, guys. <laughs> trying to repurpose yeah. causes. Yeah, like men are sluts too. Okay, we know that. Like we're we're so far past that, so they're trying to repurpose causes because they're trying to make everything a fucking cause. That's because it, because this is no longer entertainment; it is a platform for influence. These are these are words that they use. I'm not making this shit up. A lot of the conversations about sexualization in the show came from Tatiana, and were with Tatiana. Um, yeah, and and many producers have pointed out many ones with skill. That when you listen to your actor, your show is fucked. Picard season one was all Patrick Stewart's idea. Mm -hmm. Was all Patrick Stewart's idea. You think that guy would know the character, but he never, he, he actually likes the character of Professor X more than Captain Picard. Never gave it wow. much thought. Really? I hate yep. that so much. You never yeah, well, I, well I, I like Professor X, but, but just Picard, I haven't even seen Star Trek and I know Picard is yep, pretty awesome he, character. Uh, he uh it was just a job to him he never went to conventions wrote books did anything like william shatner did i know I, that, that's something i knew about patrick stewart too that he wasn't a huge fan of, that wasn't star, a huge trek. Fan of star trek as a matter of fact most of the next generation cast uh didn't feel the same way as the original that's why the original series mm -hmm. cat the goat will always be the goat except for mm -hmm. jonathan franks i think he was always like a huge fan franks franks franks, franks. franks. whatever franks, franks. I forget his name. Um, right. Yeah, like the DS9 cast is is clearly better. I, yes. I just I'm 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 now at the point where DS9 is the superior Star Trek. I agreed over the TNG. TNG? Yes. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I'm a TNG guy, but I'm a DS9. Not anymore, Not anymore dude. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I watched two seasons of Picard and like listen to like the cast and everything. It's like <sighs> I watched seven episodes of season one. I watched the first episode of season two. It can affect how you feel. Like for some reason, I can't explain does. how like Jody's doctor has not affected my enjoyment of Doctor Who, like at all. Like I can go back and watch it up until Peter, and that's it. it um, it's sad to it's sad to watch the modern stuff, but I like, I've just finished you know recently a couple of months ago and whatever. 
a rewatch of the whole seven seasons of TNG, and I I just found it beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. I'll go back and watch it. Like, like fucking with Q what was like over the top for me. Like, what with was... space cancer? <sighs> Q's dead. Q died of space cancer. Died. In season By the two way, Picard's Picard. a robot. Are the, I like I, I, Picard is a he died. He is yes. a golem. He is a fucking robot. Wait. How? How? <laughs> how <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Are you are you serious? Q died of space cancer. Uh, Q died of space cancer. Picard died at the end of season one, and was mm -hmm. was his essence was put into a robot. Basically, uh, an algorithm of what Q Picard is. is. Endless. Yeah. These are gone. No, well, you see, no. Die. Q found out he wasn't endless and had space cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is why oh. I don't watch this shit. This is fucking. This is often why I don't want continuations of anything I like. By the way, no, you don't. You don't. You yeah, really you don't. don't. You, you don't. don't. And and like Lord of the Rings, uh, or sorry, Rings of Power is is its closest. I, know, I hate relative, doing that. Its closest relative is Star Trek right now. It is absolutely destructive in the same way. Mm -hmm. Jar Jar, fucking Abrams. He is the scourge of creativity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he needs to be flogged in Minecraft. God, that costume <sighs> sucks, dude. That costume. I mean, I I want to get every single Daredevil one six scale. I just do, and I would get a yellow costume if it was comic accurate yellow. Actually, I think mm. they made one. I think they did make one. Um, I'm not touching this. That looks like shit. It's not even yellow. Yellow. It's like pissy snot yellow. It's, it's yeah, like it's, yeah. It's like mucus it's mustard. It's like mustard. Mustard yeah. stained, stained mustard and burgundy. Yeah. Like, like if you look at the shoulders, the way it's like rippling there, even it doesn't fit him right. No, and I want the fucking DD on his chest. God yes. dang it! <laughs> That's what I said to you, Gary. I said the I said to you that about the Netflix show. It's like the costume was perfect. It was brilliant. They just needed the DD on it. I agree. What, That's wait, are you just, afraid it's gonna look like a little, a little yeah. DD? Just going. It's got devil horns. He's got fucking devil horns. Why, why stop there? I get that. I don't understand. Like Hollywood is fucking stupid. It's like because it, uh, he doesn't like. He it thinks it's silly. These thinks these things are silly, Gary. The things that we love are silly. Yep, that's why they're they're woefully unqualified. They really want to exactly. make money. So, I mean, they make Hulk and and. We finally get Hulk in a proper looking abomination. And they they punch each other once and they erase it from existence and make it a fucking joke. Both of them, by the way, both Hulk and Abomination are like namaste peaceful because of toxic masculinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Well, and also good is evil and evil is good and everything yeah. else. They got to well, blur those lines. Well, because they don't know where they are anymore. I mean, these yeah. are people literally talking about like having fun sexual content for children. They have, yeah. they have lost mm -hmm. the plot on morality, yeah. uh, which is, I mean, evident in, in, in stage four, starting with WandaVision, uh, not even realizing that, I don't know, uh, <laughs> keeping a bunch of kids in the room where they have to poop their pants for weeks uh, isn't wrong and we're trying to make uh our our hero look sympathetic uh though uh koiro offered oh, I no felt, i felt sorry for that's dead all right in but, this uh further insight into the series direction she did end her time with polygon by speculating to jennifer walter's larger mcu future uh, two of the things that really stood out to me from season were Jennifer and Bruce's chemistry and the Jennifer uh, and Matt Murdock chemistry. I know that Daredevil has an 18 episode show coming out, so I definitely uh, I could definitely see She-Hulk appearing in that. I hope not. I mean, the show's not going to be good anyway, so it doesn't matter. Where does she say? Uh, where did she say nine year olds are calling her? Did she say it in this article? It, she said it in the Polygon one. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to go there. Fuck it. She said it. She said nine-year-olds are literally calling me to find out what happens next. Well, those, I mean, like, it, uh, yeah. I can pull it up really quick. I have it. It's 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 fine. It's just her mom. It's, it's seriously her kid from her nanny's house. None of these people raise her. It's got to be. I mean, 
I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe it is. Well, that's why I brought up the Olivia Wilde thing. It was like, it was her nanny. It was like, all this was done in front of her nanny and she was verbally abusive to her nanny. So her nanny, like so much so her nanny bailed. Wow. So she doesn't raise her fucking kids. Like nobody, but yeah. And, and that's why they end up fucked up. Hey, oh, it's like House of the you, Dragon. Yeah. Did you see the picture of all the celebrity kids, the Madonna kids and, and mm-hmm. Jennifer, or was it Jennifer Brad Pitt's kids and or, all of them? All of them were, Whoa. you know, boys that were dressed as girls and girls that were dressed as boys. I'll try and find it if you want me to find it. Find it. Okay. Will Smith too, right? I mean, yeah. Kids. Shy- it was a Shiloh that was a boy for a while, yeah. a long time, and had testosterone. Yeah. yeah. One of the is it, is it so the- that's Brad Pitt's kid and Angelina Jolie. Um, yep. And then he wanted to not do that though, and he didn't let her put her put him on testosterone on her on. Oh, there's gonna be so it's good with the repercussions from this generation are gonna be so much worse than it's bad. Uh, it's gonna be bad. Uh Tennessee Tism for twenty dollars says I love the that everybody knows the term uh pyroclastic flow from Jurassic uh world falling king. No, I actually know it from uh from history. Uh, I knew it from Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> it was with it was, it was pretty bad in that, but it was actually worse in Rings of Power. They found a way. I thought it was pyroclasm flow. So when it so when people started talking about the pyroclastic flow, I was like, oh, I, I, I'm, glad, I'm so glad I didn't say pyroclasm flow. I have. I, so I, that's how I feel for things, people. You say one word and Gary jumps on you. I do. And so he should. What is the, uh, God, what's the volcano chat in um, the Caribbean? That was Krakatoa? No, no, no. Mount Pele. Is that that Mount Pele? There's a Mount Pele there, but. Yes, Mount Pele. So I went to Mount Pele. Uh, I was was at a place in the Caribbean where a volcano pyroclastic flow wiped a bunch of people out. So I, 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 like Pompeii. So, yeah, I've known it for years. Why didn't they get Galadriel to tank it? <laughs> I don't think she's realized. Uh, and as dumb as that movie was, at least Owen Thunderguns had the good sense to run away from it. Yes, this is true. Making him smarter than Galadriel. Yes. And that was, yeah. And I, I haven't even watched Fallen Kingdom. Uh, it ain't good. But I, watched I the haven't either. Power, I guess. Too. Uh, ben Chapman for 20 British pounds. Proper <laughs> money. Hi, all. I'd just like to say all ready for Doctor Who this Sunday? No. On the uh, topic of Doctor Who, you guys said last year that you would possibly do a stream on the waters of Mars or the end of time. Would you ever consider doing that? Yes. I think that would be something we could do towards the end of the year. We can uh, cover some Christmas specials, especially end of time. Yeah, just give me a heads up on that, and I'd happily join you guys for that. Yep. yep. So uh, good fun streams coming up. 20 year anniversary of two towers that'll be in december we'll do yeah. uh we'll, we'll do, uh end of time um for sure gary gaming stream with as oh yeah yeah that's gonna be i fun. can just put my feet up and relax oh you can just <laughs> yeah you, you can and laugh your ass off at like, laugh just his ass most- off is as, uh, <laughs> as. Most, and I'm you know what I'm not even going to use my joystick at first I'm going to try to use the wow. keyboard just to make it worse wow wow uh, anyway wow but... Gary always <laughs> <laughs> there ladies <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I need <Hey-o>. it a knock my mom for fifty dollars my grandfather Bruce passed away yesterday morning oh I'm oh. sorry oh Not no. Wrong. Uh, he was a massive Tolkien fan. Uh, he was such a fan that, like Christopher Tolkien, he didn't even like the Jackson films. I'm glad he passed away surrounded by loved ones instead of watching The Rings of Power. I'm glad he did, too, and I hope he lived mm-hmm. a long Sorry life. Sorry for your loss. Sorry, mm-hmm. Nakamon. Thank you. Best Sorry, of man. Life. May he rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Smooth the DJ gifted five neurotic memberships for $25. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, bovine Joanni 
for three parts, $15 total. Thanks for doing the math. Exodegu. You're welcome, Gary. <laughs> hey, entire Real BBC crew, this channel and show has meant the world to me the last few years. It's been nice to find sanity in a crazed world. Uh, well, that's reciprocal. Uh, unfortunately, I write this with a heavy heart. My sister's husband was killed in a hit and run on 10 9, leaving behind their 18 month old oh. daughter. Jeez. Mm. Oh, no. Uh, if any of you uh, have it in you in the means or feel compelled to donate, I will uh, help. It will help a great person. All hail. God bless. Go fund uh, me is under William Harmon. William Harmon. If you want to find that link, uh, if you can find that. Yeah, I'm going to search for it. Yeah. I am so sorry. That's yeah, so, terrible. so sorry. Ugh. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. You never know. Mm. All right. Got it. It'll be in the chat. Uh, the chat. Yeah. Dread Bane for $20. Sauron's name for himself wasn't Sauron. He didn't let his followers call him that. It is a bad name the elves gave him. If they knew so much and went back to the books, why are they using the name itself? Tolkien explains it. He does, and I don't, uh, because they never went back to the books. And, um, yeah. Uh, no, Zaku Boy for $50. Who sees into the hearts of men and the undergarments of women? Peeping Tom. Can Tom face his trap woes or he or is he chicken? Can he can he cock block the nefarious plots being hatched against him? Or will he have an egg on his face when he runs afoul of <laughs> henpecker? <laughs> oh no. That was All a right, one. just another three weeks, three months, maybe to go. Uh, if it may like one or two hours. Uh, do you think they filmed the Saran reveal scene like Empire with a few actors as possible, knowing in order to keep that a secret? It didn't work very much since we knew it. <laughs> how how yeah. dumb were these people that they didn't know that it was Sauron? Like, it's like, oh, yeah, he didn't know. Like, how dumb are you? Well, the, the thing is, they tried to make a mystery out of something which was never a mystery. That, right, yeah. That's and that like... that makes it stupid. So if they had the proper character mm -hmm. being like a you know deceptive and manipulative, that would have been so much more interesting. But it's the Jar Jar crew, and it's mystery box time. Mm -hmm. Who's the Saurons? Oh my God! Is it the Stranger Boy? Is it the Theo? Oh how brand! Oh how brand! <sighs> something we shouldn't have ever been a mystery in the first place no i mean if you wanted to make it a mystery wouldn't it have been better to like because you're supposed to have a five season arc right so wouldn't it be better to have it like be a secret for at least like three seasons or maybe even four seasons and have it be revealed like in the very last one so that you have it i don't know like, you know they can't even write arc. one season i know I never no really just, oh. I don't know. They just don't do things as well anymore. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She, uh, she's, uh, she's trying to, um, you know, push blame away from herself. Just like She Hulk. The, Frosk is 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 dreadful person. Just a dreadful person. That's the reason why she fucking got pushed out of the LOL community. Uh, we've seen exactly the type of person she is. These old people, they project all the time with their fucking eh, toxic masculinity, toxic people. Go fuck off. Look at the mirror, you fucking unself-aware twat. Yeah, I mean, like, this saga is finally over. We knew it was going to be over. There was, there was so many bleeding fool. Others, uh, Ryan, we're talking about, like, this thing's the, the plug is getting pulled for the end of the year. So it officially got plugged. I just want to acknowledge it. I'm not gonna, I can't, I'm not going to make a video about this. I don't, I think the only thing you take away is this is the absolute best example ever of Get Woke, Go Broke. Now, I know many are saying, well, this isn't the only reason. It kind of is. Like, we, we, 
it probably wouldn't have made it over a couple of years because of the massive overhead and the 67,000 square foot studio they paid for. But they were going to attach it to other things. So we don't know that. Uh, and honestly, I don't care. What I do know is that her sexism and gaming rant killed it. Absolutely killed it. Her big mouth killed it. And now she's trying to say that. The, uh, and I believe her. I believe her uh, that the producers like signed off it. They had to because they fucking aired it. And apparently they recut mm -hmm. scenes. They recut stuff in it. So I, I don't know if that's true, but that's in a, a Bleeding Fool article. Go check it out. Um, and yeah, so here we are. Rings of Power, She-Hulk, G4. We got, and it's all it's all connected. Fucking Henry Cavill coming back to Warner Brothers as Superman after the previous regime is now outed by The Rock. They were actively trying to keep him out of it because he was a white male. Rock didn't say that, but that's the reason. So this is all happening for the same reason. It's finally ending. Um, it was destructive. It destroyed franchises beyond repair. But it's finally, and, and the ending is going to take a while. Okay, it's good. Think um, uh, Return of the King. Return of the King, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. There's also yeah. rumors Iron Man's coming back. He's going to have to. I, I, you'll, I think, you'll be back eventually. It'll take some time. Joe probably. Logan predicted that. That in that interview that I put in front of my Marvel dying dying videos, like after you have mm. some uh, underperforming films, they're gonna have you come back, and yep. Chris Evans is gonna come back because and when he okay. said you don't want to see me put the jersey back on, right? Like as a reference, it's like yeah, but when they say it's an alternate multiverse bullshit, it'll be like oh, it doesn't count, and it's fine. So somebody's gonna hire Frost because she works for a talent agency, and that that's. That's where your first problem was. When you put together G4, you didn't go to Chris Gore. You didn't go to Chris Gore. You didn't go to the core, but because they specifically said they wanted to make something that was opposite of what made it work. And it was hot women with knowledge of gaming. Like they knew their shit. They knew their shit. These women didn't know their shit at least the one this one right here she had mo a team of writers and they didn't play all the games and that's that's really where it died like sexism and gaming was part of it the other part of it was admitting that we don't play any of the games that matters to gamers that matters to nerds imagine like if i came out and said i don't really read the comics i fucking hire somebody to read them for me and break them down in like some wikipedia fashion or i don't watch the movies are you fucking kidding me it's over. It's over. You can because, always yes, tell. You can always, yeah, always, tell. always tell. You can always fucking tell. In in an effort to narcissistically push blame away from her, she threw everyone under the bus. She she pulled back the curtain and showed you the wizard of Oz, what it really was like. People believed. You know, when they do their reviews, these are coming from these people with their thoughts, their opinions. And then when you go out there and you say, oh, don't come at me because I didn't write it. We don't have time to write this. What the fuck are you doing? That's your job for a start. Never mind. We don't have to do time to do all these. So we get other people to rewrite them for us and give them to them. No. I said in the very first video I did about Frost and this whole situation, if other people are, re are writing them, you put them on the camera to fucking read it. But you don't give it to you don't give it to somebody else. Try and palm it off on as your own work and then only do a 180 when you get criticism from it. True. She would have absorbed all of the appreciation for those articles if they were like some of the best reviews ever, you know? Absolutely. Like, yep, that's uh, 100. You know. She would probably been like, "Oh, yeah, thank you very much." Uh, you know, it was a it's a team effort at G4, but yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just like, you know, who had a good video on this aside from as here, who had a great video on the subject, go check it out. Um, Melanie Mack, mm. Melanie Mack's video on this, oh, yeah. on Melanie go boom is a really good video explaining on the lesson we learned from this because there were innocent people involved. I know a lot of people have love for Gina darling. I, I don't know anything about her. I don't know anything no, about I don't. her. I know she worked there and I don't I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but let this be a lesson to the I'm gonna get a little little daddy here. Sorry for the youngsters out there. That when you see shit going sideways at a job, you can respectfully speak up. You have to speak up. You can't be quiet, you can't be scared, or you're going to sink with the ship and it will fuck your reputation. Because now Gina Darling 
is forever connected with this dumpster fire, whether she was responsible for not. They had a chance to publicly call this out. You can still do it respectfully. Like, I don't agree with this shit. I, I just don't. Um, because ultimately, you got to think about yourself. Because G4 just showed you how much they cared about you, which is not at all. And you need to remember that. And it's okay to be in a business relationship knowing they really don't care about me but they're paying me and I'm still going to be professional. But when you see shit going sideways, that's going to damage you in the future, especially when you're young and you're trying to get into entertainment. And this might be the only shot you ever get. You fucking speak up, you do it, or you might never get this chance again. So a lot of the people are fucked and yes, it's Frost's fault, but ultimately it's your fault too, for not saying anything or coming out and double or tripling down and putting up with like pieces of shit, like Adam Sessler. Who's clearly, Have you clearly seen his recent unbalanced, story? unhinged human being who probably needs a lot of therapy? He's yeah. going, he's going crazy at the minute on Twitter. Yeah. So, like, I it, it, nobody likes to see somebody lose their job, especially when it wasn't directly their fault. But, uh, yeah, I got on the wrong side. I, I, I wreck after I got burned once by a corporation. I'm like, I'm never getting burned again. I am. I don't care. It's just a corporation. It like this job isn't the end of the world. I can find another one, you know. I, I, but you know, I'll, I'll enjoy it. I'll be a good employee. But if they start fucking around, I'm gonna say something. And guess what? I never got fired for saying something. That made a couple people mad, but I never got fired because I wasn't a dick about it. You know, I just came in and like, hey, yeah, you, you know, like. Long story short, at Toyota, I work with. They're gone now. They they were skimming our fucking pay, and I caught them, and I I'm I went into the manager's office. I'm like, they're skimming my pay. Here's the proof that, and they're doing it to all of us. And nobody wanted to back me. They were too afraid to lose their fucking job, so I just quit. I just quit. I just bye. You're fucking stealing from me. And guess what happens a year later? Class action lawsuit, and I got six hundred dollars of the thousands of dollars they skimmed off me back. We. Oh boy, if we would have said something, then we would have gotten all our money back. That's, that's the whole point of this. So you got to speak up when you see shit going sideways. Don't be scared. So they're there for speak your fucking mind. And uh, maybe you'll, your career, you'll, you'll be better off for it. I mean, like, honestly, I don't know why these people hung on to the end. The minute she did that, I had started looking for another thing to do. And another quick aside, if you're an established YouTuber, like the completionist, what the fuck are you doing on G4 TV? What are yeah, you that doing? Was, that was obviously a mistake. I can only I can only assume that he thought it might lead to more opportunities, but it's more it's the unfortunate thing with some YouTubers, they're like, I want to get to the professional level instead of the casual level. And then it's just like, man, what you're doing is great. You don't But did you see him? He he tweeted out saying, Oh, I just found out from a tweet yeah. I've lost my job. Yep. That's how it's done now. Uh, how did Gina Carano find out that she lost her job? Same fucking way. Yep. These companies suck. So seeing all these people simp for him is, is it's kind of dumbfounding. But it explains a lot, too. It explains a lot of things, too. So, uh, fuckity bye, G4. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ooh, bye bye. Uh, I'll remember the old G4 with the great Chris Gore. He'll be on with me tomorrow to talk more about him, whatever he could say. I don't want to get him in trouble. He's got a great documentary coming out that I have seen. I've seen the rough cut. It's fantastic. It will remind you of like why we liked it, why it was a big deal, um, why it put nerds on the map in a lot of ways. Like it's the first thing to like legitimize it. Uh, it fuck Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory did not legitimize nerds. It stereotyped them and made it worse. And it brought on the Funko Pop era. Uh, no, it was G4 uh, who got down and dirty and weren't politically correct and actually gave a shit uh, because you had people like Chris Gore. Excuse me. What's so funny? Why, you you mean? Um, Biden's just in another fucking hell. What did he do now? Did, what, what, did, what, touching that girl? No, yeah, oh. I'll play it. Yeah, fucking, it's only 13 seconds, but oh my God, why... Guys, it's fucking senile. Yeah, we're on the brink of nuclear war. Finally got married in the privacy of the bedroom. No, excuse me. 
the, Mar- the Dobbs decision. Imagine. Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Wait, play that again. It, Wait, it, play it, that it, again. What? What? Yeah, I'll okay. be right. It's the, yeah. We've got the quote here. The right that I pushed hard and I finally got changed to marry couples in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we're fucked. The right to marry oh. in the privacy. <laughs> Wait, what? What? That worries me. That's why I laugh, Gary. That's why I laugh. Oh no! Oh, He's not in your country. This guy, needs, this guy needs to get bit, go to a invalid home yeah. and park in front of a TV. And have the keys taken away from him for his own car. Not, not the right that I pushed hard and it finally got changed. The married couples in the privacy of the bedroom. Excuse me. The mar- I'm thinking about the Dobbs, the Dobbs decision. Imagine. Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. What the fuck is he talking about? Wow. I don't think, I don't think he knows, to be honest with you. And me. you know what? He's still smarter than Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. An AOC combined. Did, combined. Oh my god! Did you see him like smelling that girl again? Like yes, oh. yes. And the Secret Service told him to stop. The guy stopped filming. Yeah. Uh, sus, as the kids say. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Pedo Pete. Oh. Uh, uh, Pedo uh, midterms are coming up. Vote for you. Th- who you think is best to run this country? That's that's all. That's people, all. Go vote. I'm say who to vote for? Um, Just go vote. Just go vote, people. Yeah, vote. Voting local is the most important thing. Yes, like, voting local. Yes. Like uh, my sheriff is a fucking moron. He wanted to uh, press charges against DeSantis. I'm in Texas. I'm in Texas. Uh, and my, and my sheriff. The first time I've ever heard of this guy was he wants to press charges on DeSantis for sending um, uh, immigrants to. Uh, to was it uh, Martha's Vineyard? Martha's Vineyard, yeah. Oh, what charges time. exactly? What, what was the charge? No charges. The guy's a fucking moron. I know. The, way, where I live, uh, 50 immigrants died, died in the back of an 18 wheeler. They were left there by a coyote piece of shit. Oh, and uh, they, it was, it was like 104 that day. So, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but he wants to press charge. It's like that's in his county, by the way. So now, now I know who to vote against. See how that works? Yes. Yes. Ugh. Damn. I know. I know. It's not it's not perfect, uh, but like I'm left alone. Have you ha, I know I we don't want to take it too political. I and I and I, and I realize this, but uh, Gary, have you been by any chance even looking at what is going on with Iran because there's a lot of a lot yeah. of stuff going on there. Yeah. I mean like women facing real oppression and fighting mm-hmm. back and against some very scary shit. So that's like real, uh, that's real. It's, it's real ish. Let's just say that real ish. Let's, let's just, let's well, just it's get, like, it's going to get stomped, stamped down too, because, um, they're Thing, things are happening. I'll they're send evil. you an article. I'll they're send evil. you an article. It's evil. So to the, to any of the women who actually died or been hurt, well, of course we're sad and they're fucking ballsy as hell. Ballsy yeah. as uh but nope not not you know what we just don't get a lot of news on that because that would uh that would as uh, that would break a narrative that yes would, it would break a lot the narrative. of narratives yeah mm-hmm. um rot weiler ak for 50 dollars. thank you very much wow. not sure if anyone said this but knife ear comes from the game dragon age uh yes. people yes. mentioned yes people have mentioned uh, the lameness of the Rings of Power riders makes Tiny Tim look like an Olympic athlete. <laughs> to talk to the tulips. Tiny Tim was weird. And he had a number one hit song that everybody loved. You even know who I'm talking weird. about? No. No, Tiny Tim. Tim. I thought we were talking about Tiny Tim. Like Tiny Tim, yeah. The Tiptoe yeah. Through the Tulips with his little ukulele. Oh my god. It was like a number one massively hit song. Yeah. yeah the American oh, the singer, 70s the were singer. weird. I think it was Man, weird. I, I was to... that was a different time. This is this is who Sorry. Gary is talking about, you guys. Ish. I, oh, the 70s? Google it. I know the 70s. 
70s. They were weird. What the fuck? This guy's on something. Yeah. Oh, the, well, everybody was on drugs in the 70s. That's true. It's only fine. Uh, default name, $20. Disney threatening to never release a movie in a French cinema unless they change their streaming laws. May not release Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. In theaters because the film Wakanda won't be available forever. to stream for 36 months. Seems like a panic move. Uh, to me, yeah. Um, I, 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 it's going to be very hard for us to figure out like what Wakanda Forever will do. I just don't feel like it'll do well because it's missing Chadwick Boseman, who in Civil War we have said many times was a very good Black Panther. I like Black Panther. I read him a lot growing up in uh, in his own comic book, the Kirby version, in the Avengers. One of my favorite characters when he was just a dude in a costume. When he was just a badass in a costume. He has since then been completely overpowered, mostly by Reg Reggie Hunley, who used to be the head of BET. And he wrote a later run after Christopher Priest. Christopher P Priest did some of it too, but it was really fucking good. Like the Marvel Knights, Black Panther, good shit. Good art, good writing. But then Reggie Hunley came in and had him like defeat the Silver Surfer. It was like, what the fuck? That's when I, that was, I was noticing it back then. And that's in the comics. So, yeah, without um, Chadwick Boseman, it's uh, as as the great Clifton Duncan put it, it's just waiting to exhale, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best tweets. I love that, man. He is. Uh, he was on fire well, last night. Uh, yeah, he's always on fire. Uh, we, so call him Quint. we call him Dr. Love now, though. If you uh, saw oh. this night, he's Dr. Love. I'm okay with calling him Dr. Love. He's a clitoris expert. You'll just have to see his tweet. Oh, uh, water. <laughs> well, he said he studied many. So uh, that's what he said. Just going up by what he said. Uh, on Twitter, 20, right? 20 British pounds. Uh, here's a spoiler for the opening scene of the Rings of Power 2. Elrond somehow Sauron returned. Guy oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> Guy Ladriel cloning dark science secrets only the Maiar knew. Elrond, shut the fuck up. Uh, it was you, and we all know it. Guy Ladriel, oopsie, oopsie, doopsie. <laughs> I got a feeling, Gary. I got a feeling. Season two in Rings of Power, the elves are all going to suddenly have long hair. Oh, <sighs> you know it. You absolutely know it. <laughs> You you know it. you're gonna see a lot the, more. the kind of continuity they're willing to do. Be like, yeah, sure, yeah. fine. Oh, the story we'll won't be long. Yeah. It's all it's well, it's superficial. So, like, just think of what, like you said, as what did they tell us prior to every season of Star Trek? Whether it whatever series, it's going to be more optimistic. We're going to have brighter lights, it, it, and it never was. It's always some, you know, universe-ending event. The Federation is a bunch of fucking dicks. Uh, men are trash. Men are trash. Particularly white men. Um, oh, no, no white men allowed in Discovery. Oh, no white men allowed. Oh, no straight whole, white men allowed. The whole point of Star Trek Discovery was to have a bridge with no straight white men on it. Mm -hmm. In the same year, they had a TARDIS with no straight, with no men. Please, Gary. A retardis. A retardis, sorry. The <laughs> retardis. Hey, uh, you know who's here? George. George! George the Giant Slayer, two parts for $100 total. Wow. Uh, Hollywood was just force fed a string of used anal beads. <laughs> Amazon uh -huh. was a total failure. They can't corrupt Tolkien's mythology without paying a price. Yet, when criticizing, they try to cancel the audience by recasting it with another because we won't consume your garbage. Those days are over. You don't cancel us. We cancel you. All hail neurotic as Nina Mahler and the real BBC. Hail George. Hail George. George! You didn't echo. You just well phoned said. it in. Wow. Well no, that was a funny. That was that was a cappella. Oh, okay. Oh. A barber shop. Okay. 
<laughs> that sucked. <laughs> uh, African Prince on the Streamlabs side for $20. Hey, Gary and gang, love the streams. Thanks for watching Rings of Power so we don't have to. Love from uh, Ghana. Oh, whoa, really? That's awesome. That's cool. That's, okay. Somebody's watching us in Ghana. And then a hat got delivered, uh, Mrs. Nerdrotic told me today, to Lebanon. Oh. And Somebody. on so cool. Lebanon. International. 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 That is cool. I want to go to Lebanon when it's safe someday to go see Baalbek. Oh, and the food's okay. so good, too. Book yourself I hope one day. I hope one day you do. Well, I mean, it's not safe because of our government. So, sorry, mm. Lebanon. Uh, Hillary Clinton is... Uh, Evil murderer, uh, a murderer, uh, Hillary in Minecraft, in, in Minecraft. Minecraft, in Minecraft. Uh, Robert McDonald for twenty dollars. Who is the adult or teen female that has no athletic ability that will be the real super heroine of the show that Daredevil is just the beard of, like, oh. etc. Oh yeah, it'll probably be uh, the Electra. They'll probably like femi feminize uh, or femini feminize intersectionalize Electra. That's the word I'm looking for. A, a fucking awesome character whom I love, by the way. Uh, Cody Griffin for $2. I'm way behind in the stream. I love Tombstone. I used to live a, at Fort Ochuca as a soldier. Used to play Five Finger Fillet, uh, fillet at Six Gun City every weekend for extra cash. Ooh. I don't even know what that is. But, is that uh, the the? Sorry, I'll turn my camera on for this. Is it the thing where you go like that? Oh, the knife. It might be. It might be. That's awesome. That's dangerous. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I like my digits. Ladies. Edit that on Red Dead Redemption too. Oh, chat is saying yes. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption's awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Love that game. Did you get locked okay. in a room? I did not get locked in a room. I rode around and killed people. It's great. Uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan's driving in that game compares to mine. Driving? <laughs> you, you, what, uh, Sorry, horseback driving riding. Red, horseback no, riding. X-ray girl, your driving compares to Rainy's Targaryen. <laughs> wow. She's yeah. taking more people out than I have, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She's I'm not sure. People, she has I'm a Conan sure. death count. Now, uh, Blanco Boy for nineteen ninety nine. Hail! I've enjoyed House of the Dragon, but if the finale goes off the rails, I'm done with George R. R. Martin's universe. Off topic, Mahler. Metal music recommendations. Um, well, the usual ones for me. Are, so, I guess mainstream would be. I, I always recommend starting with Iron Maiden. I feel like they're a little bit more chill for metal, but um, you know, you can crank it up and go for all the ones you've you've heard about. I, I don't know. It's just. Sometimes I feel weird mm. recommending this. I'll just go for lesser known stuff for me is Rhapsody of Fire, Avantasia, Power Wolf. They'd be my my trilogy of, of I love them. I love them all. They're my children. And uh, I think Power Wolf is playing in America for the first time ever, like soon. Cool. And their tickets are like selling the fuck out. It's nice to see that metal is still alive. Oh, it's so I think it's going a, a major resurgence, um, but also like just going outside. Like, I was noticing that while I was watching my Padres beat the Dodgers in the divisional <laughs> championship series. So great. But I was noticing all the people not wearing masks, being outside, being in crowds, screaming. It was fucking awesome. And it's like, God, we live without that for two years. And we should be so grateful for it. And we've got these fucking pinheads out there. Still, I mean, like, if you want to wear a mask, fine. I, I think it's going to be part of our culture forever now. I, I just, you know, like in Japan. And whatever, yeah. uh, but damn it, it, it was just nice to see crowds gather and have <laughs> and be free. It's it's really nice to see people in Mexico finally not wearing masks. It's because uh, they were for a long time, and it's just like oh, now, now they're finally kind of just letting go. That's really nice to see that. God. Yeah, the only bummer about that document, the UFO documentary last night, was everybody's wearing masks. Right? <sighs> it hurts to see that. Does. You know, it especially hurts to see it on kids like, you know, here, like when you're going to the beach and then you you see a kid with a fucking mask on. And I'm oh, just like, I'll never, ever, wrong with you? never forget that. Like, 
I watched a guy, remember that it was Moonlight Beach. It was the beach I used to go and drink at at night, every night as a kid. He, the first guy to get arrested on a beach. The surfer guy? Surfer guy. That yeah, was that. that was I saw that. Yeah. And uh, I'll never forget that. Like cops went and fucking arrested him for being an outside at a beach, not near anybody. Alone, by himself. <laughs> and then they filled the playground in with, and, uh, no, and the skate, the skate ramp in with sand so people wouldn't go in. Yeah. I know. Fuck that shit. Never again. Don't forget these things, people, at the polling places. Uh, Vincent De Leon. De Leon. Vincent De Leon. For $50. <laughs> to Gary and all the FNT crew. Love today's show. As long as we keep spreading the word, people will wake up and leave the woke behind. I have my first review up of Halloween Ends. It's raw as heck. And it's blunt. We'll have more to follow soon. Thanks. And that is Vincent DeLeon. Is that the name of your channel too? I heard Halloween Ends sucked, but... Um, yeah, didn't. I've heard it sucked too. I'm gonna have to, in, in about 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to have to go for about 10 minutes. Okay. okay. Well, Halloween okay. Kills really sucks, but then Ends was like, okay? That's what I heard? I don't know, though. I, I a strange franchise, man. There's like 5,000 of them. Yeah, dude, I like the okay. first. Uh, I like the first three. I like the weird Halloween three. Um, and that's when I stopped watching them. I prefer Friday the Thirteenth, where Jason gets struck by lightning and resurrected, and then goes to space. Uh, Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. What? <laughs> it's a beautiful bedroom marriage. The the next super chat kind of links with this. <laughs> it does. Wow. You want to highlight it for me? Uh, find it at the top. Gotcha. Uh, Nina, you know you're not equipped right for as, says Paul Anderson for $2. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. You sure you want to? I, I could comment on Nina's rack. It's got nothing to do with the penis. Mine are real. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My lack of penis turns you on, doesn't it? I, I, as a, a heterosexual male, I do get turned on by a lack of penis in my woman, yes. There you uh, go. Or, or rack of penis. <laughs> do you understand what you just said? I get turned on by a lack of penis in my woman. <laughs> that turns oh, me on. No, it, <laughs> not in as in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I, said no. I, said. I said what I said. I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, another few months for you. I mean, <laughs> this is why we're not interested in She Hulk, right? <laughs> oh my God. No, I she's just a whore. You. <laughs> I got news for you. It means gate. It means gate. I don't know what anything is anymore. You don't know? Hmm? I don't know. You don't know? <sighs> you don't know. Do it, do you? I don't want to don't want <laughs> women with I don't, penis. Want, I don't want women with don't penises. Want <laughs> I don't want, I don't want it. Thank you very much, please. <laughs> I just don't want it. You're not my drag queen. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. No. No. Oh. Hey, I tell you what though, those the, those fucking drag shows, they need fucking police dragging them fucking out by the heads. These the these, these, the kids, these yes. there is there is no <laughs> such thing as a kid friendly drag show. Yeah. When they're when they're pushing their fucking parts into people's faces and talking about eating pussy. What? Did you see that one? Oh god, god that one? one was so disgusting. Oof. I saw one with a straight couple at some like the gym uh, of uh, of some school, and they were like sim simulating sexual dancing or whatever, yeah. like twerking each other in the middle it's of the gym. And I was like, I don't want to see this. Parents. I don't want to see that, and I don't want to see this. Okay, Grooming. it's inappropriate. Stop doing that shit. Just not in front of kids. Trucker okay. with nice rack. Speaking of nice rack, for ten dollars. All hail Nina. Nice. We finally get some proper British representation on the real people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks, That's bye, bring bring you the as well, accent more. back. Yeah, I know. I'm getting jabbed now. Speedy the unsilent for five dollars uh, on the streamlab side. Nina is looking fabulous, while As is looking the best. Whoa! Rip. Well, the truth uh, is the truth, you know. 
sexy centurion <laughs> for five British pounds. Hail Gary's beard, as is bold Mahler's voice and X-ray girl's Asian skills. Oh, wow. Did Nina just throw the decorations at the wall? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Called a bunch of spider webs. Uh, uh, bad, but I really want to walk into a Best Buy and hear Mahler say, how are you? Why are you here? <laughs> I want to say hello there. hello there. That's what they do really awkwardly. Like, why are you purchasing these sex toys? And then they're like, I don't want to. What do I have to? <laughs> yeah. Tell me in detail. Please invite Johnny Massacre on to Friday Night Tights. Watch this stuff. Uh, watch this stuff. Matrix Four review, Star Wars review, live streams. He's on the right side of the culture war, both in entertainment and current events. He can do long streams. He's witty, based in British. It says Graham Paltikin on the Streamlight side for ten ten dollars, or um, Johnny Massacre's mom. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. I'll check out Johnny Massacre. They're shouting him out. Uh, so I always just assume that's the, the person. I'm just kidding though. Hempty or, or a very close relative two parts, 10. Oh boy. Okay. I got this. I read it wrong. I'm getting tired, man. No, I've been tired. Five British pounds. Greetings. Beelzebub, uh, uh, Tharkun, uh, Eldrick plank and lady. I wish to ask if Amazon can show Orifer. Legolas is uh oh Orifer Legolas's Legolas's early life since little is known and his mother if it's <clears> possible <throat> think of all of it uh brilliant ways they could portray that sarcasm included in this one yeah it, they would fuck it up like they did in the hobbit okay uh Dean Domino 25 for 19.99 since rangs of power and she hulk are over i think you guys could use a palate cleanser for the Brit Bongs, I recommend Venture Brothers. Yes, they both of them should watch Venture Brothers. They haven't listened to me yet, but once they do, they will thank me. And for Gary and Nita, Chainsaw Man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm down yet. I'm going to wait until it's over. Yeah. It's a bit of a stretch for me. Guy with the chainsaw head. Yeah, I'm just like, mm. it's very. Oh, you, don't like, you don't like guys with chainsaw heads, Nina? Eh. I want to see how long it lasts. I need That's to. That's what she said. Hey, yo. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's lost. <laughs> uh, I want to see how long it lasts. Oh, Length is important. What, what do you guys think about Superman coming back? Jacob Whitley for $2 says, Superman is back, baby. Yeah. We Henry, shall see. Henry Cavill as Superman? Yes. I'm down. <laughs> I bet you are. We shall see. Moist. I'm very happy that he's back, but who's wow. telling him what to do? <laughs> yeah, who's writing it? Who's yeah. directing it? Uh, it all that all matters. But it, if it, it, it Henry really Cavill's doesn't. coming back as Superman, what's going on with Danahisi Coates? I think hmm. we'll never, ever, ever see that. I think that we'll never see the light of day. Oh no! The fact that Jar Jar. <laughs> Uh, oh no anyway uh anyway so, yeah <laughs> you know, the fact that jar jar abrams it was put on blast by zaslav and he didn't come with a pitch right after that i, I think he's done i think jar jar is done at warner brothers and they're quietly working on like the it. age of jar jar needs to end like people need to stop hiring him and his people it's just, look how much damage he's done yep oh immense <clears throat> Smiling franchises. Yep. I got news for you. It means you're Faye, says Smilex for two British pounds. What? I see what you I'm did there. Just, I'm just oh. fatty. Mad Max for 10 Canadian pesos. Patton Oswalt loved the She-Hulk finale and supported Gosh. Graham Norton by saying cancel culture doesn't exist and that it's just accountability. Is Patton just scared of no longer being relevant? Yeah, he's, yes. he's on his way out. He's been like Patton that for is a also while. A vile human being yeah he's been like that for a long time mm -hmm. uh birthday yesterday lord of the rings extended trilogy clock says thomas okay. castigan for two pounds. so good oh uh, speaking of which i actually went to the bookstore the other day gary and i went to ask for the the silmarillion and uh they were like we're bringing it in 10 days and it's like in the mexican bookstore but they're bringing like uh english books here 
to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to go get one, support my local bookstore, not Amazon. So that's what I'm going to do. Good. You're just trying to show off because you can read. Yes. Yes, I can. I'm a girl that can read. Oh my God. But can you chew gum and walk? No. Hmm. That's difficult. I, that's fair. I, I don't blame it. But I don't like gum, mm -hmm. so that's a weird thing for me to do. Anyways, it's just strange. Yes. Ian, for five dollars on the Streamlab side, I like the idea that Sadik is still bleeding. Out like, oh, I actually, <laughs> I'm fine <laughs> in Monty Python. Yep, <laughs> just a flesh wound. It was ridiculous because, like, yeah. I knew he died, and I knew he got hit with well an arrow, but it was a projectile, whatever. Yeah. So I knew he died and he got... So when I saw that happen, I was like, oh, there he goes. And then he just kept appearing and appearing absolutely yeah. fine. I was just like, what? And then when he was sat down, it's just like, oh, by the way, I'm just going to die now. Dude, he totally decided that. He was like... Um, <laughs> like uh, It felt to me like he was asked, would you like to carry on? And he was like, nah. No point, really, is it? <laughs> it's, it's all rather shit, so I'll just die. But Lenny M was just going around doing all of the, oh, Britain's a racism. I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm not surprised they killed him. I was. Like, I knew, not in the sense <laughs> of narratively, I knew it was going to happen, but surprised they made that choice. No, I, I wasn't surprised because he was a man. And it just... He was a man in charge. Yeah. Well, there had plenty of men they could have killed. It like felt the off that he was there. Yeah, but he was said it was the the leader of the psycho, um, yeah. uh, Harfoots. So now he's not. So now it's those two women. Yeah, and he kept telling that woman like, "You're always right about yeah. everything." And I was oh, like, "Yeah, they're going to kill you." Like, could he just not be right? Yeah. But she just <laughs> like... admitted she was very wrong. <laughs> and she wanted to kill the other people. Yeah, she wanted to kill everyone. Um, I have a question for you, Mahler. Uh, because I don't know, as you guys haven't, Ari, Gary, and as you guys haven't watched the like Midnight, um, Midnight Mass and Bly Manor and those other ones, right? Mahler has, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, well, have you checked out his it. new one? Yes, I don't All like of it. it. I thought it was pretty meh. It Ooh. was so like. I've stopped at episode eight because I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, I just, I um, can't do it anymore. Did you it finish it? It takes a while to do anything. It sets up a supernatural and interesting sort of plot line with characters who have nothing to do with it getting entangled in it. And then they just drop it uh, toward the last <gasps> episode. They're just like, eh, fuck that. Really? Oh, yeah, because I, I stopped watching it in episode eight because I was like, I don't like I don't care anymore. And then I was just wondering if you finish it and you can tell me if it's worth when finishing. Yeah, I um I actually Should watched I it win? with uh, my sister for Halloween birthday stuff and uh and we were very excited because we, we were all three like so just to give a quick rundown. I thought Hill House was awesome with a mm -hmm. bad ending. I thought mm -hmm. Bly Manor was awesome and I thought Midnight Mass was awesome with a bad ending. Mm -hmm. So which is fine for me, you know, as things mm -hmm. go, it's like eh, yeah, I'll give you more stuff a chance. This I was like it was just kind of eh throughout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get connected very much with anything. Though, I mean, you know, if, if it's like, it's, it's like, would you recommend it? It's like, I guess for people who really like Flanagan stuff, this felt like uh, Flanagan off brand. I don't know. It did. And, and kind of like woke, like way more woke Flanagan. Um, and uh, I was just wondering if you think it's worth finishing. Like, should I finish the last two episodes uh, or fuck it? No, <laughs> okay. I don't think if okay, you had been enjoying it up to that point, I found the ending pretty unsatisfying. So okay, so I'm done then. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I was gonna, I, I, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I got to jump out for about 10, 15 minutes, dude. That's all right. I've got, I've got a thing. Okay, that's we've got an emergency topic. <laughs> that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up with this topic. Okay. Hot I D might be back before the wrap up then. The, a show. I'm gonna be RB too because I don't want the spoilers. I'm actually probably gonna watch this. Bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Wow. All right. Fine. Let's do it, Gary. We Let's do, do it. it. Uh, we did a big long live stream right after we watched it. And that's what I love about those is it's visceral. Like what we're doing, we don't have time to think about it really. It's like how we feel instinctually about a show that we've liked quite a bit. Yep. And coming off its best episode, we got its worst. And the writer, I mean, if, if like you said, if she had just shut up, it had been fine. Yep, it would have been fine. We could have interpreted away and defended bits and bobs, but now we know what's coming. We know for a guarantee they're not going to be addressing this shit. Yep. 
So House of the Dragon Episode 9 writer, director, break down Eve best epic scenes. Um, writer and director, producer Sarah Hess and director Claire Kilner are interviewed about Rainey's surprise final scene and more from Sunday's penultimate episode of Dragon, including some thoughts about the must-debated volume uh, video wall. Whatever for that. Um, basically, at the end of the episode... They d d uh, diverged heavily from the books to have a girl power scene, essentially a girl power scene. That would have been fine if she had just left, like, out the side of a building. But Rainey's Targaryen kills at least 300 people, at yes. least, at the very least. Yeah, higher Three estimates thousand. could include as much as a thousand. Yeah. Oh, and gravely injured a lot of people. Yes. Yep. Not quite. Daenerys Targaryen at the end, but what was no. the big criticism of Daenerys Targaryen at the end? Uh, is is frying King's Landing after being told she didn't after saying she didn't want to do it? Men, women, children. Um, yep. When she had won, she could have just flown to the Red Keep. George would have never written it like this. I could see her burning King's Landing, but there would have been more motivation. <laughs> that, you know, like if she does it, that they needed to explain it, right? They never explained it properly. She just flipped on a dime. So they are trying to portray Rainey's Targaryen as kind of like just a really innocent person in this who is a victim of many circumstances, um, including being passed over. And quite frankly, despite some cringe dialogue in the beginning of the series, her character was fine. We saw her like going, you know, like living through her kids dying and then seeing her brother, her husband's brother get the top of his head chopped off um, and still backing her cousin Viserys when she, when he, when she saw him back his daughter, that changed her mind. And like, she became a sympathetic character at that point. Then she gets locked in the castle after the King dies. That's changed from the book, but I was fine with it. I was told, I'm like, okay, this could be interesting, you know? And Eric Cargill comes out and saves, saves her, gets her out of there, but then they're separated. So she can go to the dragon pit where they're going to, where they're going to uh, announce Aegon as King. She's watching all the shit goes down, and then she sneaks away to get in her dragon. There's no guards. Apparently, she left her armor there. All of this could have been forgivable to me if she didn't kill almost a thousand King's Landing. Or, like th then you're just she's just bad at this point, and you can totally see like King's Landing at this point should absolutely back the Greens now. Like, oh yeah, I'm yeah, it's kind of hard to back the Blacks considering this. And I'm really curious if they'll mention it at all. But uh, from what we can gather, it won't be mentioned. No, and then they as come the, out. As brought up, this is a great opportunity for propaganda. But as I said, it's like, well, you could just report that this happened. It wouldn't even be propaganda at that point. Just yeah. tell people this is what happened. And and they still could if they mention it, like it it makes it okay. And if you portray like, but they're there's they're not saying that. That's not uh, House of the Dragons ninth episode uh, chronicled the fallout of a series death in King's Landing as Queen Allison Hightower and her scheming father, Otto, scrambled to consolidate their power and deny the king's daughter, Rhaenyra, of her claim to the Iron Throne. And all climax with one of the greatest exits of the franchise has ever seen uh, e Eve Best's long-suffering queen that never was, Rhaenyra's Targaryen, Rhaenys Targaryen, on her dragon, Maelys, exploding through the floor Aegon's of Aegon's coronation below the episode's writer, Sarah Hess, and director, Claire Kilner talk about some of the burning questions, including why Rainey's didn't just Dracarys the whole lot of them. She might mm -hmm. as well at that point, by the way. Oh, yeah. It would have saved more lives. And we oh, would yeah. have been said we would have been saying, well, at least she did she did hit all those people because she was trying to end the war. Yep. Before it even starts. The consensus online in the show keeps getting better as it goes. I'm wondering why you guys think this is was it. Uh, the difficult pulling off at early episodes, which had to cover so many years and such stretch or the whole team, by the way, this is Ryan Kendall's doing not these ladies uh, generally improving as they are learning the show, adding increasingly older and more experienced actors in the key roles or none of the above. Uh, in the first half, I don't care about any of this. I want to hear about the uh, mother thing. Yeah. I don't care about that. Where is is it down below where they discuss the the scene? Just um, 
Control F mother, and I think you'd probably. Yeah, you'd find it that way. <laughs> uh, there is one. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here it is. From the beginning, we've been waiting for Rainies to do something badass and give us the incredible moment, which, by the way, in the books, she has. She yeah, has. And, and for the record, I'm fine with her having a badass moment. Just don't have it be killing everybody. It's really yep. weird when you do that. Yeah, it's not badass. It's uh, oh. it's kind of horrifying. Uh, it's very cool, but does it make me wonder, does it make sense that she doesn't kill them? She murders a bunch of civilians, civilians by busting out anyway. So why not pull the Dracaris trigger and save countless lives, possibly including her own by preventing war? Why not just turn why why not just turn away and fly? Or why just turn around and fly away? Hess, I think she's she just can't do it. It's not her war. The fight is between these two sides, and she's kind of not in it. She doesn't feel like she's one, uh, the one to come in and do that. But you're right. If she had just incinerated everybody, it's game over. Renera wins, and we're done here. But at the cost, but the cost is huge. I also feel like the moment she the, notice feel. By the way, she looks at Allison in the eye, and Allison walks in front of her kid to shield him. It's a mother to another. Rainey's is angry, but in her previous scene with Allison, she respected her, even if she didn't agree with her. She's she's not going to kill another woman like that. I mean, that's just stupid. I completely disagree with that because, like, yeah, her character, yeah. she she she's all about her kids too, and then she know she knows the political play that she has to make, and it's not an easy one. And um, I mean, her granddaughters, that's who she's going to be protecting, and if she doesn't kill Allison, they're going to go after her, them. They're married to the, or to be married to Renera's kids, right? She's, yeah, and she just killed a bunch of mothers. Yes. <laughs> she, killed of she killed a shit ton of mothers. Yep. Uh, Kilner, uh, we talked to Eve Best about this, and in the previous scene, she felt that Allison really saw Rainey's for the first time in a long time. In the moment, their mothers in a terrible world created by men, and she can't, and she can't do it. Um, by the way, this world is created by men and women. Uh, do they mention King's Landingers? Oh, well, the other quote I'll try and grab. Um, this is in a, this is in a tweet. I'm not sure where the source is exactly. Mm -hmm. I assume it's an interview. I'm not sure if it's actually from this article as well, but instead of reading through it, so it says, uh Sarah Hess, hashtag House of the Dragon writer, says Rhaenys let Alicent and the Green Council live because it's not her war. The rest of the casualties don't matter because it's Game of Thrones. Wow. That's uh, just just letting you know ahead of time. Writers, do not say this. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> bad idea. Let us assume you care about the civilians and the peasants and the the working people of the world. Don't let us think that you couldn't give less of a shit. Uh, especially when in the second episode, they show a character showing respect to the small yeah. folk. And, and he says the, their opinions matter in episode four. Uh, is baffled why Damon receives such high praise what uh really i'm a little baffled they're all like oh daddy and i'm just like really how in what way uh was he a good partner father or brother to anybody no he's an interesting character fucking morons i don't think they know what that I just is remember we were in the writer's room one day and i was like it would be awesome if rainy's just came through the floor on a dragon that is not a good reason to do that. Not no, it makes no sense. Yep. Yeah, and it took a lot of people out of the show, and I think that's why they're coping a little bit. So they uh and, and the thing is, like you you have to be aware of season eight. You have mm -hmm. to be aware of it. Yeah. Um mm. You know, something I've seen a lot through different movies and shows that I really, really like, a lot of the key points are like family and love, friendship. 
And I feel like today's movies and shows, they concentrate, of course, on the intersectional stuff and woke stuff. But then they're like, oh, cool scene. We just need this in here for no reason at all. I think, look, no human is immune to wanting to have cool stuff. But the whole point of all these stories is you earn your way to the cool stuff. You know, like, like fucking the Witch King in everything he does in Lord of the Rings is super cool, but they don't just like randomly just go, oh, this is cool. Gandalf as a wizard is that's a cool thing. Balrog is cool, but they yeah. all have to have their locations. They all have to justify <clears> how <throat> everyone interacts with them. There's lots of things that go behind all this stuff. So there's going to be a scene, and it d- depends on how they it plays out next episode that contradicts what Rainey's did. Ooh. Absolutely contradicts it. Um, so we will see. They even mention a little bit of it in the trailer. That's how I know it's there. So we'll see. Um, I ask. Hey, are we done? I guess well, so. Yes. That's the main okay. stuff, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, are we, are we, how's the druggers, Denora? <laughs> am well, I done? Well. Are we done? We're almost done. We're, we're got <laughs> more minutes to go. But um, we're going to be live after the finale. Uh, Mahler. Oh, yeah. Chat. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Kinnell, Jane Theory, Fringy, and uh, are, you can't be there, X-ray girl, right? No, I have yeah, work. I do. Yay, Jane. Sorry. Yeah, Jane's awesome. Um, I just saw Ryan Kinnell video on Adam Sessler's meltdown. Oh. <laughs> Which one? There seems to be multiple right now. Yeah, he's just he's covering all the meltdown. Okay, cool, yeah, cool. All of it. Yeah, that dude's got problems, man. Ma- well. <laughs> Yeah. When you say if any of my family vote for Republican and they die, I will sip champagne and uh, celebrate their passing. Mm-hmm. You are fucked in the head. You have problems. Oh, and if the creators of HBO come back and say, well, if a man broke through that, no, I'd say the same fucking thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, you know what, Gary, if you got that article still, uh, there's someone I just missed, but if you control F, uh, count, just, just the word count. Okay, I will do it. Oh, by the way, I think it was, I saw, I was watching. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, my God. It's Game of Thrones, civilians don't count. I saw that as you yeah. were scrolling through. Yeah, that's a fucking shame, isn't it? It's how Hollywood feels about us. Yes, well, yeah, y- you're absolutely right, by the way. That's, yeah, that's how they feel about the customers. That's the, <laughs> they are the <laughs> civilians that don't count. I wonder if you asked George that, it, it, um, yeah. he would not say that. He would absolutely not say that. He would bristle at that comment. Oh boy, not doing yourself any favors there, lady. Um, oh well. Uh, Andrew Mont Petit, Mont Petit for ten dollars. Hail BBC. I was talking to my friend who is a huge, huge into Lord of the Rings lore, and she told me. That the Harfoots, Harfeet, are actually the ancestors of the river folk Golem came from, not unlike hobbits. Uh, they're not ancestors, they're hobbits. They're a breed of hobbit. The river folk were a type of hobbit. Not unlike it. But the river folk were talking about, uh, were talked about preceding hobbits prior to the Harfoots. It's in the Fellowship of the Ring, it's in the book. It's in the book. It's not what Christopher Tolkien like derived from a book that uh, didn't finish. Like, I, I, dude, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit trump anything because they are published works of a finished story. Period. Um, Harfoots are a hobbit, are a type of hobbit. That's all. Um, were their predecessors sure? Did they do anything of note in the Second Age? No, because they kept no records until well into the Third Age. They weren't supposed to be. But there. he didn't say they didn't. I know. <laughs> Maybe they played ten billion Balrogs. You don't know. <laughs> uh, Bullet Shepherd for four ninety nine. Hear me out. Exude Ghoul, Nina, and Gina Carano, She Hulk in the MCU, <laughs> but it's a women's prison movie. Wow. <laughs> I'd be scared to be in prison with Gina if she ever She Hulk. I watch oh, Orange is the New Black. Scary. I know what goes on in girls' prisons. I'm oh, ready. God, no, I'm not. You're ready, X-ray girl. We've already done it. Come on now. Come on. 
Um, <clears throat> Gary, do you want to see something really wholesome? Yeah. Share my like, screen. The <laughs> most wholesome, the most wholesome thing I think you'll ever see this week. Oh, an sure. otter, is it? It's not an otter. This is magic. This is the best magic trick you're ever going to see. I think I'm going to have to mute it because of the music, but... um. Um, You've seen Copperfield do it. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen. You've seen David Blaine do these things. But are you ready to see? Oh, the bus appeared! (laughs) 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 Wow! I've seen that. That Wow! (laughs) I love the commitment of the outfits. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That is an outfit. (laughs) Yeah. Just the don't fucking give a shit of the driver. (laughs) I'm like the the driver is like, come on now. As the, uh, wow. right. That was just so wholesome. Uh, Nina, what we is we this? We need a bit of wholesome I don't today. think this is, uh, this is not going to... Oh, boy, Nina. This is so wholesome. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you're fired. I didn't make it. I'm just sure. Actually, Nina, you're not, because I don't fired you last night and I didn't rehire you, so you're still fired. You're don't still fired. Don't kill the messenger as God. <sighs> There's a reason why it has zero likes on it, Nina. It, <laughs> it was just made. Uh, Philip Lesbats for 10 British pounds. Robert Meyer Burnett saw Picard season three and liked it. Is there hope? Robert Meyer Burnett likes Shang-Chi. Uh, he yeah. loves, loves Andor. Loves Andor. Um, like. Did he like uh, She-Hulk? No, he didn't like She-Hulk. But he's been super critical of Star Trek. So for him to come back, uh, I I don't know. I I will. Be Roberts, he's, ter- say, he's an eternal optimist, is Robert. I will believe they'll be better than seasons one and two of Picard, maybe. Yeah, but are they going to be good? Yeah. And I, uh, yeah. I, I, Amanda Plummer as girl Hitler looks stupid. Sorry, I'm just going to come out and say it. It looks oh, stupid. Mm. But I mean, the trailers aren't doing any favors. He's good. She's a good actress, but like the straight up like girl Hitler. She's good. <laughs> what the fuck? I really want to have faith in Rob. I mean, I love Robert. I love Robert's pieces. Look, you know, Robert is he is part of the Hollywood. You know, he has been part of the Hollywood culture and the Hollywood um, system. So I think he's you know he still has a great deal of love and uh, and uh, optimism for all of that. And you know he's a very optimistic person, and that's one of I think he's inde- one of the most you know endearing traits he has. It's a very endearing trait. So you can't you apart can't from being it. smart as fuck, and he's forgotten yeah. more about fandoms than most of us will ever know in our lifetimes. Particularly Star Trek. Yeah. 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 Like, particularly so, Star Trek. So I mean, like, it's up to you if you want to have. I mean, you don't want to not have hope, but. Um, Am I if getting- you're ever feeling like you're blackpilling, just read a Robert tweet. <laughs> He'll pull you back from the brink. He will, but the thing is, though, what Robert has to keep in mind is like Alex Kurtzman, like really vilified fans along with anybody else. So just making something good, you know what? That's not good enough. When you vilify fandom, it's not good enough. You have to come out and go, you know, hey, we went about this wrong. We vilified fandom. We were wrong. We apologize. We're going to try and make things better. That That would probably go a long way with a lot of fucking people. But if you're just like, hey, we just made something good and please forget about us completely Ugh. racist and misogynist for five years. No. Fuck no. The only, the big difference, though, with this season uh, 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 separated from the others is this is a completely different team. This is a completely different director. Alex Kurtzman's name. He, I, yeah, know, he, I know, he, I know, I know. I, I off and did another show, so he had I nothing know. to do with this. And Terry Metalis. But has he gone out and gone after fans? Can, can he say he hasn't done that? Well, he unfollowed this guy that I know after two days. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, do you want to see something else really wholesome? <laughs> that still is not otters. Goats? Oh. Uh, isn't goats. <clears throat> uh, oh. it's, it's, it's Meghan Markle on Deal or No Deal. Let's see what happens. Oh, Meghan Markle, open, open your box. What? Oh my God! Yeah, this is what she used to do before Harry stuck it in her. I didn't know she was on this. Oh, I'm a bimbo! 
Oh, wow. oh my God. <laughs> In the power. Woo. Yeah. Wow. There you go, Megan. There you go. Wow. There you go. Wow. Bimbo power. Bimbo power. She started the meta. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, start going around the horn and saying our goodbyes. Um, Bye. We'll start with. Uh, Bye. <laughs> wow. I mean, I could pass out at any moment. I'm so tired. But. Um, oh. Exodus Ghoul. What you got coming up? Uh, sleep. I am going to sleep wow. very well tonight. Um, no, but uh, tomorrow, Twitch, uh, poor choices on YouTube, bunch of things. And it looks like with uh, Sunday Fun Day, uh, without Az there, we have um, Adam Krigler and Darth Call joining us. Ooh, Az. Adam. So it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. So watch out for that. Oh, and go tit shirts if you want to support, you know, boobs and uh, not having cancer. Uh, like triggers. Two, seven, seven. My profits will be going this month to cancer research boobs. for that. Cancer. Yeah, boobs. Boobs. Love cancer. the boobs. Boobs. Support boobs. boobs. It's good for men's health. Yeah. If you want to be a bra to a woman, get a shirt. This says go tit. I've got one. Gary's got one. Mm hmm. Yep. I'm getting one as soon as you release female versions. Oh, they're yeah. released. Sorry, they're I forgot. They're, ah! they're, <gasps> they're there now? Yay! Yeah, sorry. I'm yes. going to get one. Yeah. So, I'm excited. You didn't tell me you were supposed to. I'm, no. <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> How dare you? I'm a bad bear. Oh, I'll spank you. What okay. the fuck is going on down there? Oh, no. Uh, Nina, are you ready? Should I turn? Which way should I turn around? <laughs> Wait. I'm there. watching. <laughs> I'm this way. Way. Okay, this way. I can't do it. Our, our boxes it. are too far. Yeah. <laughs> too far away. Because I can't figure out directions because I'm a woman. <laughs> well, well. Debauchery. I can't figure out directions because I'm a woman. There. There, I got it. There, I got it's like it. Like watching okay. a woman try to <laughs> parallel park, Gary. I know. <laughs> And a Persian woman and an Asian woman trying to figure out directions. Wait, wait, wait. We Not can make our boxes closer. Here, we'll do this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it, girl. All mm. right. Almost there. Oh, my God. This is really far away. <laughs> you need to get the chair out of the way. <laughs> you need to commit to the bit, X-ray girl. God, X-ray right. need to commit to the bit. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Legion of Memers is going to have a field day with that one. Sexism in the real baby say. I just got Be crowned shit. grifter by uh, Nick Ricada, so. Oh, that's Game a high crown. praise. Nice. Yeah. High praise, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout uh, out to Rackets. Uh, there we go. <laughs> by the way, Lady Rackets has a channel now, too. Oh, really? <gasps> yeah. Stop it. Really? Yeah. What's she doing? What's she doing? She's Are doing, she like, car or? videos, and it's amazing. Uh -oh. So, uh -huh. and she already has, like, 10,000 followers. Great. Yeah. Check her out. There's ever a million followers of the real BBC suddenly cried out in pleasure <laughs> and then snored. I I spanked her in a top hat. That was classy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was a furry. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> One person's classy is another person's. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh... Mm. <laughs> Just, if only uh, Chrissy was here uh, as well. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Nina, so right. Goodness, I gotta go grab something. Okay, uh, um, everybody check out my channel tomorrow night. I'm gonna be interviewing with okay. Lila Hart. Make, make, it, make it last a minute because I gotta run across the room. Oh. <laughs> oh, I could make it last more than a minute, Gary. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Check out my channel, Nina Infinity. Tomorrow, I'm going to be having my show, Breaking the Narrative, with the lovely Lila Hart, who has an amazing documentary uh, about the uh, election elections uh, going on in the United States. I can't believe it's still on YouTube, so check it out. And uh, Friday's Infinite Hope. You guys are talking about white-pilling people. Infinite Hope right here, right before 
Friday Night Tights, check out my channel. And thank you very much, Gary, As, and Mahler, and Exude Girl for this show. It's always lovely to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Nina. Thank you. Uh, Mahler. Than a minute. Um, speaking of rackets, we got we got him, Nuts, Jay Longbone, and myself bringing in rags. Going to break down those last three episodes of She-Hulk on Saturday. I imagine they will be drinking. I imagine they will be laughing. It's... It'll also be a little bit of pain, you know. It's the it's the nice little combo, a bit of a mix, keep you up and down, pacing wise. But yeah, that'll be Saturday, seven p.m. BST. I'm hoping it'll be a good. One. Also, thanks for letting me on this thing. You know, erection. <laughs> erection. It's, wow. it's 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 almost it's almost erection season, everybody. <laughs> it is if you're Asian. Oh, it's nearly <laughs> erection season. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I was so confused. <laughs> like, are you making a joke about their, like, you know, size or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Anyways, I'm November's close. coming. It is. It is. Hang on. I'm gonna come. Do not come. Do not come. As? What, am I coming? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not, not right now. <laughs> You're going to have to give me 38 seconds. What the uh, hell? <laughs> even now? <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to play some uh, Medieval Dynasty in about an hour. Don't know what time that's going to finish, but I'll probably start around about 10.30 UK time. So maybe a little bit earlier. We'll see. Um, th where, Thursday, dr I'm on Drinkers uh, After Hours. Uh, open bar. Open, open bar. bar. Open bar. bar. It's, all, it's, it's booze related. That's As a co-host, I'm offended. <laughs> As somebody watched She-Hulk, I'm offended. I, I've never got on. I'm fucking eat that. Oh, dude, we, we got so many people who wanted to come on. For uh, it's kind of strange, you know. Like people are like, please invite me, and I was like, "You, you, you want to?" Uh, uh, yeah. You know. I think I've talked enough about Shield for a lifetime. Uh, Friday, Friday night tights, obviously with Razor Fist as the guest. Uh, Saturday, my brother's coming up for five days, so I'm very excited. Oh. So we're going to be doing some stuff around the house, and then we're also going to be doing some Lego building streams together. Uh, yes, Robert, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, maybe. I haven't been up for long. Uh, so, yeah, so my bro's coming. So I'm still going to put out content. It's still going to obviously be here for Friday, uh, for Real BBC next Tuesday as well. Uh, and Friday night times. But, uh, yeah, we'll be doing some... some um, we'll be doing some Lego building on stream and just mucking about in general, having a good time. So there's that. Oh. Good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Big Raj. Oh, yeah. The vinyls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sent these. Sent these. Thanks, Robert McDonald, by the way, for the $20. Robert's a real good one. <gasps> he's a, he's a oh, real good one. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Thank you, Dude. Back. Gorgeous. <sighs> oh. Oh, that's oh, awesome. My God, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's just the beginning. He sent a single, The Ballad of Bilbo Baggins by Leonard Nimoy. Hey, Leonard Nimoy, yeah. <clears throat> J.R.R. Tolkien reads and sings The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring. That's wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, poems and Songs of Middle Earth, J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien reads and sings his Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and Return of the King. And then we have uh, music inspired by the Lord of the Rings. Look at that art. Look at that art. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at that yeah. Painting. My God. Oh, yeah. It's, that's getting framed. So, yeah, sent me all this. Thank you. Big Raj. Thank you. Big Raj, you're amazing. Canadian hero. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, for the Canadians, hang on. 
Nice. All right, well, stop looking at me. Uh, oh, oh. Wow. we're so square. There we go. Don't be so weird. Don't be square. <clears throat> All right, uh, over 10,000 people watching today. Thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, wow. Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Uh, it's been. Um, it's got, been. I, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it's been the best two months on Nerdrotic in its history. I got to thank X Ray Girl, who's here, Perry Chan, Quarter Black Garrett, Big Hand, for all I'm of them. Come. Oh, was that? Wait. Wow. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. wow. There you go. We did it right. Well done. It's been crazy. Uh, this, this rings of power nonsense. We still got a couple videos to go. Not, not sure after that, but uh, there's some post mortem that's going to be if I can get my shit together and get it done right. Um, I've got pretty interesting video coming out on uh, on the oh. post on the post mortem. Uh, but thank God it's over. Thank God it's freaking over. Uh, but um, there's still Marvel. There's still Marvel. I have a video coming out tomorrow. Speaking of Marvel, uh, kind of a She Hulk post marvel post-mortem um a follow-up i'm looking tomorrow. forward to that I'm, I'm looking real forward to that <clears throat> it's it's uh um oof. i say this every time he, he finishes a video but it's like a wow. perry masterpiece it is a perry chan masterpiece he's been working on it for five days that was a bad pause there gary i'm really, really glad you pause. said video <laughs> <laughs> Every time he finishes, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Every time he finishes, oh, wow! Oh, ooh. It's a masterpiece. Oh, peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was what? What did Chad do? There? I've never come. I've never come so. I've never come so close. That was his pause at the wow. end. Wow! Uh, <laughs> I forgot what he even said after that, but he paused for a long time, right in the middle of it. <laughs> I've never come so close. Uh, it's in our uh, Nerdrotic Daily video, by the way, which is almost at a hundred thousand. Yay! The way. So we'll be back on As's channel next week, right? As <clears throat> yes, sir. And it will be business as usual, even though I'm going to Orlando the next day. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to Orlando, see you at the meetup. I'm gonna be tripping around Universal uh, for on Thursday all day. You're going Just Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's fucking expensive. What a grift that is. Yeah, it's it is. It's a grift, all right. Wow, that's expensive. It's expensive, man. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I I definitely want to check out Harry Potter. That's that's the only thing I like. I can miss how Hall Halloween horror nights if I check out horror nights. Halloween horror, horror nights. The universe. Gary, I got a, 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 a Friday night tights. Are we dressing up for Halloween when it Ooh. comes around? Um. Uh... Oh, you or are you going to be in? Oh, are you going to be in Orlando? It's going to be. It's going to be in Orlando. I think oh. we, so we should can still dress I, up. I think okay. we should because well, most of us will be together. What we need to figure out, Ryan, <clears throat> is how we're going to pipe as in because I'm not really going to. Uh, the pipe. Oh yeah, the old weed. Because I'm old... flying, so I'm not bringing any of my equipment. Oh, uh, Streamlabs has a new feature. What's that? To have multiple cameras like kind of like stream yards so that might be a possibility oh that's about fucking time oh yeah. really yeah. when did that go up <sighs> uh, i got an email about it but i haven't tried it all right i'm gonna have to try it i should have tried it today. i haven't got an email about it <laughs> I'll, I'll try it tomorrow um yeah to say, forward me that x-ray girl all right we're gonna get out of here yeah could you forward it uh, to me please <laughs> yep, <same laughs> and, uh, yeah Tune in to Tuesday night's main event tonight. I'm sure they're going to talk more about this stuff and G4 and all that other stuff. But uh, uh, in the meantime, I'll be back with Chris Gore tomorrow. But after my video, which will be up at about 9 30, 10 central time in the morning, because it's done. It's already done. I could release it right now, but we're going to wait till tomorrow morning. It's a better time. So for everybody here at The Real BBC, thank you very much. And our intro or outro ciao bella
The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences.